afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to the proceedings of um, the TRRC this afternoon. Um, we already had the prayer. I don't think we need a second word today. Uh, Imam, yes. you want to? Please go ahead. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Rahman Rahim Maliki Omidin, Ia can Abdu, Ia can Stain, Ibn Nasirab, the Mustain. Let the Legion of Dantalim, Rahim Mahdu, Velim, Veladalin. Alhamdulillah, Hadin Ali Haza, or Makuna, Lin Hatadu. Lola and Hadin Allah, who all will Akhir was Zahir Wal Batin. Yara Banalakal Ham to Kamayan Bahi, Vajilal Wajika was him and Sudanica. Was Allah, who Allah said in Muhammad in Hatim in Nabina, I am in Mussolin. Subhan Rabbi Rabbil Izati Amma Yusufuna wa Salamun Ala Al-Mussalina wa Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Amin. Amin. Shukran, Imam Jalo. Bishop, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Chairman. Lord God of mercy, of grace, of love and of compassion, we thank you for seeing us throughout the past week and for bringing us to the beginning of another new week. We continue as a nation to give ourselves unreservedly under your direction, your protection, your providence, your security, and your defense. And we continue to pray for the TRRC and for the Gambian populace in general, and those that are abroad, and all who are following the sittings of the TRRC. We continue to submit all witnesses that will come before this commission, that they will boldly speak the truth. And you shall also grant uh, the commission the designing spirit to be able to design between truth and falsehood. And so we ask that patience will be exercised throughout this land in order for the due process to take its course. For this we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I mean, and thank you very much, Mr. Bishop Adiko. Council, I will... Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, commissioners, and members of the audience. Uh, may I ask that the witness be ushered in, please? Thank you. I Tida Jaite. Nte Tida Jaite. I Tida Jaite. Nte Tida Jaite. Nte Tida Jaite. Do swear it. Mben kali lako. Mben kali lako. I'll speak the truth. Mbe to nya le fola. Mbe to nya le fola. The whole truth. To nya damma. To nya damma. And nothing but the truth. Nte fem fola mem manke to nya di. So help me God. Muto alama alayendema. Muto alama alayendema. You may be seated, please. Council Kwasi. Good afternoon, Tida Jaite. Welcome to the TRRC. Council Kwa itinyang Tida Jaite. Ibe bismillandila TRRC. Uh, my name is Esa Mbaifal. We have met before. Akato mu Esa Mbaifal leti. Bara alie alibentale nung before janning komantonung. 
I am to help you narrate your story to the TRRC. Atelebe ide mala yela kumo sata TRRC evi. May I remind you that you have taken an oath to speak the truth. Akabe hakilovlandila yeka liweleke puru kwe bato nyale fola. And that it is an offence to lie to the commission. It is also an offence in this country to lie under oath. Adum luati nyale muniinti. Puru ye kumasoto balofo na tara ye kali. Adu luati nyale muniyimfananti. Puru ye kumasoto balofo T R R C nyati lemula. Do you understand that? Yo faham le bang. Yes, I okay. I understand. Good. Today I propose to discuss the following topics with you. Abina nyulume no falate mbi alafita ina yole kacha. We want to first establish your identity and your biographical information. Folo folo lafta ni sabatindi la itelo mujuma ati aningi bar kotengo lume mbedending ite kumola. And who was Baba Job? And um jumale mu Baba Job tinu. How he came to be arrested and detained? Hani fo mune keta inata muda hani fo ka asorong. What was the reason for his second arrest and ultimate incarceration at Mile Two Prison? Mune nata ke dalila dalilo te purka muda fulanjanke hani fo itata asorong Mile Two kasola. The support you were giving to him while he was in Mile Two Prison. Ite kato lumeno kaya kadema watu meng abe mile tu kaso la watu mo. And the system that you put in place to be able to give him that support. Aning yemu kule londi puru isi kontine wo makoiro la eka meng kaya watu meng abe mutoko no. And the efforts that you and your family made and others to secure his release. Ite kumo inila dimba yalo animo kotengo ni mbadi ngulu. Aliye kato menke puru kajeko ya bula aibo kasola. I'm referring to your meeting with Muammar Gaddafi. Hani fo ite ni Muam yebe ngoke ikafume Muammar Gaddafi. With a view to helping to getting him to intervene to secure Baba's release. Hani fo puru ate financia da bula je kakata kuoke puru isi Baba bula. The emissaries that he Gaddafi sent to ya jame. To help secure Baba's release. Aning Gaddafi na ta kila lumenu wulindi na keki na yaya jamekang puru asibaba yobula. What happened when Baba completed his term of imprisonment? Mune na ta ke bring Baba ya la wicho la kasola ya soro mena hanifu wobanda. And the petitions that you have made, you and your family have made to Yaya Jame to secure Baba's release. Alna ta saferol ning kanindrol ning kukotengo lumenu tamandi sartolto alie menke bukafutandi Yaya Jame mapuruisi Baba job bula. The problems Baba encountered at the prison. Kole ya kulumeni alonko Baba yo letaki watu mengabe kasokono. In particular, the issue of food, the attempts to poison him and others. Kada aka 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 kulo menu tilinda baluola domo romen anyanta domo la ani yefero lume menu ke puruka domo rindi posino laje and his demise how he died aning anata bang bari abanta nyadi le and the impact of his demise on his family aning ala bangu anata mungule sababu ala dimba ya luma and the efforts the family has made. To Yaya Jame in order to alleviate, to get him to intervene and alleviate the family suffering. And in Aliye Kolo menu kata ke tamani kafuta Yaya Jame ma puru njenga kamala a financia double aje a kuta mani puru baba la dimba alube bata mengo no walai benga tango mengo no isibu akono. Life in exile. Ani fo inata banko bula ibe banko e banta la ila balunya benu nyame. And then. We'll give you the opportunity, subject to the chairman's consent, for you to give closing remarks. We don't see how we call a ninth chairman or something. If we see the delay, it's from Ghana. We don't see the kumo kumfa. If we see the kumo memfo Gambia and Kolie, in any moment, we'll call for more. Are you ready to proceed? Yes, I'm ready. Ah, please tell us your full names, please. Saya ingin itu anih kontrol ngah ifang ya fonnya bang. 
My name is Tida Jete. Many know me by Tida Baba Job. Why would they call you Tida Baba Job? Where Baba was born, which is Jara Karantaba. He came with that name, and so they used to call me by it. And uh, it became pleasing to me. And I used to add it on my name. It became a popular name, and many people called me by it. At what stage in your life did people start calling you by that name? What did you say? When I got married to Baba. So in a sense you became Baba Job's wife and then they started calling you Tida Baba Job. Yes, that was it. But before we get to your marriage to Baba Job, kindly tell us where you were born. Number 38 Peel Street, Banjul. Number 38 Peel Street, Banjul. And uh, in which part of this country do you have your roots? Saying, I tell a lassilo, but I'm banco minto ma fanne, tundujumaka. Pama, but a bolongono, Sandu Jacaba. My father came from the provinces, Sandu Jacaba. Mama, but a badibusaba. My mother came from Badi Busaba. And you were born in Banjul. Banjul, Peel Street. Yes. Banjul, Peel Street. Yes. Fantastic. Typical Gambian, a mix of everything. I like it. Well, I mean, the Gambia only, because I was a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little Where did you go to school? I went to Saudi Primary School. I went to Saudi Primary School. I went to Saudi Primary School. From there, I went to Muslim High School. Could you give us years, please? Yes, I can give you the years. Yes, I can give you the years. Saudada Primary School from 1984 to 1989. Saudada Primary School 1984 to 1991. Muslim High School 1990 to 1994. Muslim High School 1990 to 1994. And finally, Nusrat 1995 to 1996. And uh, could you also give us your date of birth? We did not take that. September 30th, 1974. I was born on the 30th of September, 1974. What did you do upon completion of high school, Nusrat High School? During Nusrat High School, Karambumba Bang, Ijita. What did you do? I did a job in the Bunda Toika for Damien Toi Gambia International Airline, Jamaya Long GIA. I worked at a place called Gambia International Airlines. Many people know it by GIA. Which year did you join that institution? 1997 to 2001. 1997 to 2001. Uh, when did you marry Baba Job? I got married to Baba Job on the 3rd of March, 1997. Could you... Tell us briefly who Baba Job was. Afonye, kuma suru mo kono drong. Jumale munum Baba Job ti. Baba, awulu ta 10th July 1959. Baba was born on the 10th of July 1959. Jara Karantaba village. In Jara Karantaba village. A lower river district lot. In the lower river district. He started his education at the Pakalinding Primary School. Uh, from there, at Crab Island. From there, he went on to Crab Island. And finally, at Libya. And finally, he went to Libya.
Bira believe you have been university to Jay because I scholarship to the Gambia government blue. May I see your university to in Libya? While he was in Libya, he was attending university because he had gotten a scholarship from the Gambia government, and that was his reason for going to Libya. Kafonye uh, fanam bira believe you. He used to tell me that while he was in Libya. Mole mati me along ko asawar taba kile. He was someone who was very active. On the issues of uh, student needs, which he participated greatly in. He would, which was why the students came together and they uh, made him their leader of the entire school. While he was leading them in that school. Uh, he built up a relationship with Gaddafi's people because he was the one who would pass on to them the needs of the students. One like Musa Akusa. He was a foreign affairs minister then during Gaddafi's time. He was also close to Basilo Sala, Sala who was a, a close confidant of his. Chief of protocol at Gaddafi time. He was a chief of protocol at Gaddafi's, in Gaddafi's time. Eventually, Gaddafi adopted him as a son. He used to tell me those things about himself. So but, but of I, I, course, uh, you do not have first-hand knowledge of any of these things. This is information that you gathered from Baba Job himself, correct? correct? These were information he gave to me, yes, but while he was in prison, uh, this friend I told you about, Basiru Sala and Gaddafi himself, uh, when I met them, I came to confirm those things he said about himself. Uh, indeed. So proceed and tell us more about Baba Job. So, those were the things he told me, and uh, that was what it is. But so, when he returned back to the Gambia, he said he was working at the agriculture department, soil and water management, at the soil and water management, under fisheries, under fisheries. He said he worked there for some time. So while he was there, Yaya and his uh, people took over the government. And when they took over the government, they needed recognition so that uh, they would be recognized the world over. And they thought that the only person who could do that for them would be Gaddafi. And what Gaddafi Baba had a connection also that knew. And that Gaddafi, the, the person who had a connection with him was Baba. That was why Baba was brought in into the system. When he got into the system, State House as a secretary to the president. They took him to the state house as a secretary to the president. He was there. Then in Atana Carte of Jara. Then he was elected in Gala in, in Jara. Ha, Jara West constituency. Jara West constituency. Kanyeta. He won. Then at Aketa Dipito the APRC. And then he became a member of parliament for the APRC. So Abeo Dipiti Ayala. Uh, which year was that? Sanju Malamudi. Two thousand and one to two thousand and three. Two thousand and one to two thousand and three. While he was a member of parliament, he was uh, selected as the majority leader for the APRC. So, 
and that was what he was uh, doing at the parliament. He was there doing that and at the same time also running his own business. But, but in addition to that, mm -hmm. uh, he was also a member of the APRC leadership. He, he, was he secretary to the party at some stage? Yes, he was made secretary to the party. Uh, but he also had a connection with the group called the Green Boys. Yes, he was made Green Boys. The Green Boys, they came in later. What? Green Boys, July 22nd movement. There were others before them, July 22nd movement. July 22nd movement. He was the leader of the July 22nd movement. It was when they dissolved that that the Green Boys were Green Boys established. He was not leading the Green Boys. Was he a member? No, he was not a member. I because was not, I'm not aware of his membership of that group. The reason why I said that, they were people within the APRC party, those that uh, undermined his leadership, July 22nd movement. his leadership of the July 22nd movement. That was why the July 22nd movement was dissolved. Then the Green Boys Samana. And uh, the Green Boys were brought in. He could have been a member, but he did not have any responsibility. As, uh, as far as I know. As far as I know. Good. Uh, but you would agree that, excuse, let, me refer, let me rephrase this. At what stage in the Jame administrations, that is from military to civilian rule, at what stage? Did Baba got involved with Yaya Jang? What did you call him? Baba Nata Dunkolu Kono, Kabo Sojaria La Carola, Kata Hanfo Civilian La Carola. What did you call a form of a Duntaya Jamela Kolukon? Bring Ibe AFPRC. When they were AFPRC, what I'm all at Duntekon. That was the time that he joined them. Raninaka Kachanyako. But he used to chat with me about it that in those days, during Jawara's regime, each time he comes back from Libya, he usually gets arrested. But Yaya uh, Jame was among people who we used to arrest him and took him to where he was going to be detained. And they used to put him on guard. He said, well, under that guard, when everyone else goes to bed, he used to have discussions with Yajame. So he knew Yajame from then. They used to chat. It looks like as if they had something in common, which they used to discuss about. Uh, did, did, did he tell you what was it they had in common? Fire fuen between cool men ya longo wole mulunta nyoyata ida mangalu tema. Wole mjaora ebonya. That is to to jaora to get out of this place. Wole put jaora ebonya. That is to get jaora out. Wola na biri to take ya take over. That was why when they took over. Ye baba kilina. They called for baba. Uh, how long into the jame? administration or the AFPRC administration, did they call Baba Job to come and assist? What did you say? What did you say? The AFPRC is the one who is Baba Job commanding and pro a kafuima. I cannot give any clarity on that because I found him in it. Proceed, please. Wait and then. Yes. I do call it like a uh, business, okay? He, he was working like he was into business. 
a company so they got from a youth development enterprise you had a company called youth development enterprise uh, do you know about the ownership of youth development enterprise for yalo ne juma nyu leo ka folo menu tamwati wala menu mo akundon ka yat youth development enterprise Nalom the Atelem Chief Executive Officer of Youth Development and Enterprise. I know that he was the Chief Executive of the Youth Development Enterprise. Because I saw the documents and he also told me. And he used to tell me also that the place belonged to him. If I am not forgotten, he owed 95% of the shares. He used to tell me that. Uh, but did you ultimately come to realize that youth development enterprise was in fact an organization he joined with Yaya Jami? youth development enterprise mu kafuleti me yalon ko in foisina long wo ko la ko kafule me yalon ko ani Yaya Jami le nata dengala a bring problem o ketale ngawo moy Yes, it was when the problem happened that I got to hear about that. But the documents that I saw, I did not see Yaya Jame's name on them. And I did not also see any name of any of his people there. Do you know when uh, YDE, Youth Development Enterprise, was established? Youth Development Enterprise. No, I cannot uh, recall that. Was it before or after your marriage? Allah futu o janna e kelom fo Allah futu o kola lem. Nya mira na futu o kona lem da. I think it was within uh, a marriage time. We were obviously within, but was it before the marriage or after the marriage? Ako niko ak futu o kona. Janna im futu e kelom fo futu o kering kola lem. Futu o kering kola. It was after we got married. Good. So, uh, Baba was, initially he was working for government, fisheries department, then he moved to state house as uh, secretary to the president, then he became a member of parliament uh, in 2001 to 2003. Uh, as at the time he became a member of parliament, was he also a businessman? What do I call that I do cook a fisheries department? A butter fisheries department, and I don't do cook a man's secunda colo, or call alum in Atanim Palaso de la Cake, secretary to the president. Your between a bow safaro men of Wanya, a bow in do coin in Samba Canyola de Bangala Julia. Yes. Okay. So it means, therefore, that from secretary to cabinet, secretary to the president, he became also a businessman, mm -hmm. and then later as a member of parliament. Was he a businessman while he was still a civil servant, or he left the civil service to become a businessman? Ako wato me aketa secretary to parliament, watu mo kola le anata ke deputyoti, aketa deputyoti. But between wobe wato. Amunta abe mansakunda doko la tu moment civil servant watu fana yata le abala jula yata mandi kamba hani watu vanta la jula yala because nta mata la mansakunda doko la no that time nta mata la civil servant yala nta la adunda ni jamu regime kono so adunda ni jamu regime kono lem abe ni business okay it was when he got into the jamu regime that he started his business. But the reason for his business, which he used to tell me, is that I set up this business to assist the citizens of this country. If a bag of rice was sold at a thousand dollars, he would sell it for eight hundred. Or eight hundred and fifty. And this is an example I'm just giving. Uh, Madam Witness, you would agree with me that uh, Baba Job was very close to Yaya Jami. Madam, sir, I was on the call. Baba Job was at the Katabata Yaya Jami. I guess we can. Can we proceed, technicians? Oh, they said no. Yeah.
Hello. Hello, hello. I think we can proceed, yes. Uh, yes, my question was, um, Baba Job was very close to Yaya Jami, correct? That is true. And uh, they had significant business involvement, correct? And it could have been, but the only business I was aware of was the youth development enterprise, and Baba never said anything to that effect uh, to me until the problems started. Uh, you realize that before 1997, uh, the new constitution, the president could not do business. The constitution could not do business. Yes. So it was only normal, isn't it, that if a president at that time wanted to do business, he would take somebody as proxy? What was saying, as he Nintiko? Nim president on lafta dunna safaro to wairi bankulu amang asembo diatela. Fire mu nining abesembela men na mensi otamandi ay. Ah, was it no? Yes, that could have been. In fact, was that not the claim against Baba Job in the YDE case? Following amang ke o kumakamoleti yole for Baba Job ma ni YDE Youth Development Enterprise bring alakobe. That is what was said, but whether that is the established uh, truth, that was not said. Uh, do you recall what the court accepted as the truth? For a kilo sibula, kiti bunda ni itili mune ta koni no muto nyati. For na a kilo bulandi de because our to metal. Except if you could refresh my mind, because it's been a long time. But of course, judgment was obtained against Baba Job, uh, and uh, an order was made by the court for the assets in his name to be given to Yajame, correct? But bring Kito Ketafabanda, Kitindirla, Lue Kito Te, Bri Kito Te, Yeninafo, Baba La Femulu, Aning Ala Jula Safar Femulu, Yeta Yedi Yaya Jamela, Fam Imolekan. Beo Moyo Lajam. I'm just hearing that from here. Because what happened was when Baba was sentenced a few months later a few months later we saw an announcement over GRTS we saw an announcement over GRTS that all of Baba's assets were being frozen including bank accounts including his bank accounts based on the request code based on the risk request that UN Resolution 1532 that a UN Resolution 1532 will freeze. that uh, give them the directive to Ima, freeze Baba's assets. No, even Baba la family safe. They did not write to Baba's family. Ima ala lawyer safe. They did not write to his lawyer. Ima for Baba. And they did not tell Baba anything. We couldn't do anything about uh, that case. Because the only men la purka o problem o solve. The only uh, thing that we could uh, face to solve the problem. All baby marari yaya jamme. All of those people were under the control of yaya jamme. Mandula sotonza voice out dami. And we had no place where we could voice that. So man choice sot. So we had no choice. Vinti tasu ulko. We got out of our homes. Uh, thank you very much. But even in addition uh, to the freezing order, which is as a result of the UN Security Council resolution, there was also a court order uh, which stripped away the assets from Baba Job. Are you aware of that? When I was in the court, I UN law resolution of May in London, Baba Lafengulu Bay Freeze, while I was in the Kola, Kitty Bunda Fanana, the Kamodile, court order, Puru Kababa Fengu Beta, 
fo e mom bo fa nan kala ma court order nam na moy nam na je fo bring jani commission o establista wala ni le taro ni tandina ba je wala for the first time i never heard about the court order i never saw it until when the jani commission was on that was when we were shown it but at least you have seen a court order indicating that these assets were taken away from from baba job and his family arbitrum yow court order jele ya fo nyamenten ko ka fo ko nyim fengulu ta baba job bulule anga o court order jele bari ka o court order je bo matin nan tolie wo accept amati nanga lala ko yow fengul ta baba bulule because wo court order ndol ma mamba value di alam because ya ya jame men di ata wole ke ci Yes, I saw the court order, but that, that doesn't mean that we accept it, because uh, during Yajama's time, whatever he wanted, he did, and that doesn't mean that we we, we also give value to the order. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Tida uh, Baba Job, for your answers. Tida Baba Job, you have to look This commission is really not concerned about uh, assets of Baba Job or. Uh, assets of Yaya Jami. In commission, ila nyati linya manke Baba Job la fengulti wala Yaya Jami la fengulu. So we would not delve into that. Muto nte dunna wakono baake. We raise this issue just to give context to this hearing. Nyin kumo wulindi le duro mpuru waeri jang sede yaro lebe keri mpuru kodo lusi banke mwoli ya faham. Uh, while this is a very important issue for you. Waeri nyi mkuku malete puru yite fango. I crave your indulgence to understand that this commission does not have jurisdictions to delve into those things. Benim bambandile mako nyin commission e man sembo soto pour que dabula o kolu kono wala ka dun a koko no ka no masata. And I do expect that you would pursue other uh, potential uh, recourses you could have to the law to deal with that issue. And do lata nyin nako woto ete fango Isi sila dolu tano le menketa lua la silo luti puruka nyingko noma sata kabula noma kwa itafango sula tala nyaming maya alonko ninja na kuwalte kela kilindi. But in the meantime, Bari nyintembe mfolo, we can proceed with our discussion regard about the relationship between Yaya Jami and Baba Job. Bari sila nghani mbintel si kontine na kachala kuulu menu keta kusoto ringwalti choki nyola kuulu Yaya Jameni Baba Job Tema. Uh, not only was Baba Job close to Yaya Jameni. He was viewed as a very powerful person in this country, correct? Yes, that's true. In fact, they had a name for him, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Yes. Could you tell us about it? Where is your phone, Yabang? Jara Mansa. Jara Mansa. What does Jara Mansa mean? Jara Mansa kuto mumuneti. Kabo Jara kata we santola atelebe mara ringebe. That is to say, from Jara going upwards, he was responsible for all of that place, ruling it. And not only was he regarded as Jara Mansa. Bare amanke nyindam manti kafaye jara mansa woda mantende. It was generally believed that he could move uh, some of the security uh, outfits in this country. Like, like police, like NIA, like drug squad and all that. Lano keta lafananko asikuta mandinu le bunda lula meni alonko le keta bunda sembe malti nyimbanko kang ko police, NIA, aning ate nyom bunda kutengudu. Yes, that's true. And those powers did not derive from any law. And was symbol of Mambona Lua Woluato? Yala Utumo Executive Order Levija. That time we had executive order in existence. And those powers derived from his relationship with Yajami. Correct. Amunda was symbol. Niaja Ayolu Soto, what all Keta Fenleti, Membota Yajame La Carola. Well, I didn't call executive order because I come here from Malaya. Yes, that was why I said executive order because they came from here, Jamie. In fact, what you're saying is that there was nothing lawful in the powers that he possessed at the time. What I see in Foko, symbol of menu bala otumo, amanke kolua symbol embala lua leyo symbol diyala. 
fonde butu ngame ngelo ngere executive order lem fani luwa tata fani luwa manta butu ito lealo well what i know about it is executive order whether that was in conformity with the law or otherwise they would know yeah, but we all we were all here and we all know that during that time there was a climate of illegality uh, especially in the exercise of powers be it yaya jami baba job and all the people around them at the time that was the case wasn't it akubar wotumo mo be yalon ko tumo yaya jamela wotumo ateku atela karola femfen ning ateya tamandi sembo anin kango men babulu kulu be katamani wo sembo le la wotumo e kaboyto la karola fontenu e wuto nyaati banko be katamandi wala nyam that was uh, true the whole country operated on those and it was in this climate of illegality and unlawful use of authority uh, in which yaya jame and baba job had a problem ko bitum wo kolu kono meya lon ko anin luwa manta nyola anin sila manta nyola wo kolu tamando kono len koleana ta wuli yaya jame ni baba job tema na ah, won to nya yes that's true and there was a falling out was it wala na ta kuya fango sababoti itema nya true and tell us what happened when that falling out started afonya mbiri wo kuya da mutata sai mune na ta ke kuma ka afonya ming sembo ming ya ya jamme fango ya sika di baba la just as he is saying the powers that ya jamme gave to baba a symbol anata wolta i use against baba those were the same powers he took and used against baba and i symbol could you yeah. could you explain that further because this is quite an interesting one go for incident and you satan you demanding kabo nyoto kato muddin kira kuma balete can i say moment diala because the powers that he gave him i mean aka security bunata i sembo soto je for instance on the side of the security uh, uh, sector he was powerful there banko bunda kumal be ay sembo soto je he also had powers on all the relevant and important uh, departments of state sembo kono yati naka mako ro jama ke harama dingole banko dingole it was uh, that power and authority which enabled him to help a lot of people we yati na atona ta sele as a result he became popular banko be kan across the whole country laba ngo mol lafta fang fokka kanyina president la ko wala in the end people almost forgot about the president himself uh, but in addition let's try to just get a balanced picture nga kata do ko lu tembete nyame ni a pesa nga wo jube abe lari nyame wutumo much as many people hailed baba job and saw him as a very good person mo jama ye baba jay wutumo ka atof di ma fo ko mo kendelem Uh, a lot of other people also saw him as somebody who used excessive on unlawful powers on them but mo dolu fana mo dolu this was the picture at the time mo dolu fana yaaje ko molem me yalon ko afana yo sembolu tamandi nyaming eh akuyata doli hanu fo molu fana li soton tamen yalon ko ala ko mambu nyawol fana ma eh fo wonten yalla mo harama di yaati that is humanity because i want him like it he wasn't an angel mose of phone someone could have said so uh, that could have happened to uh, th- anyone and thank you very much for the honesty in mm. in 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 all this because all we're trying to do is to paint the true picture of how things were uh, without any bias and i'm quite happy that you are answering questions honestly ako inumba rabake ila tilingo kan kato mbenyi nyinin ka rolu men bella pour ka kulu lanke na ma wala ya sabu andu ina ta ke moti me ya lonko e wakilta e tilinta e nyinin ka menula ya fo tilingo kono wala na ka fo ye inimba ra fa se ke onya ma ngan kali alquran wala yes it ought to be that way because i saw on the holy quran during this falling out what happened to baba wo kuya wuche okono mune nata ke baba la menkata bring i kuya ta what happened was when there was this falling out eh lundo mbeje drong one day we were there 
in Atante call. I got called. Where Baba arrested? Baba got arrested. Tida uh, Baba Job, I see that you going through your statement as you as you testifying. Uh, you can just put it aside and, and, and talk off the cuff. If you need to refer to it, uh, just let me know and then it's noted that you're referring to it. Ako ayaje bedi ya makanyaming ila kumakansa feri mu statement o nying ibe amunta ebole no masata kang. Ako isala ndi karala yedi ya muikumfe ning ayatra inata sola puruka fengi be kaito nyimbala isabu atabonda kalama. The reason I'm referring to it is because of the dates which I would not be able to remember of it. Uh, don't worry, I would guide you, no problem. Okay. Okay. And the first arrest happened in 2003. Yeah, we moved on. Yeah, that's 2003. Yes, that's true. It was in 2003. Sunkaro konombeje. It was in the month of Ramadan. We were there. Ah, tisara ta bita do kola. He announced that he was reporting to work. Ita fanam pare ta bita banjo purkata sunkari shopping la. I was also prepared on my way to banjo for the Ramadan shopping. Besilo ka moyen koli ka fomi fatunja ifufana. On the way, someone called me called fatunja ifufana. Ah, konye baba li. And she asked me, where is Baba? I said to her, well, Baba has gone to work. I telephone ring off. And she rang off. And I call her. She called me again. Baba arrested. And told me that Baba was arrested. When she said that to me, immediately I called Baba to confirm. When I called him, he said to me, it's true, I have been arrested. He said two paramilitary pickups came to my office and arrested me. All of them were with guns. They took, they took me to Banjul at the serious crimes at the police headquarters. This happened... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this happened at the height of the rumors uh, that we had two rulers in Gambia, Mansajara and Mansa Kanilai, correct? Correct. What happened in Gambia in Gambia in Gambia in Gambia in Gambia in Yes, it was during that time. And Kanilai Mansa ye Jara Mansa Muta, correct? <laughs> so can you lie man say jara man samuta for a monkey or a nyam? Ah, well, okay, sir. Yes, that was what happened. And uh, you called Baba and he explained to you the circumstances of his arrest. Bitumbre Baba kumandi telefono to tumolong ayala muto Kenya for ye. Ayala muto be Kenya for ye. Yes, he, arrest, arrest, uh, he narrated to me how he was arrested. Anata for Nico. And then he said to me. Ah, uh, so a genibi na yena kaitur beta. Before you come, uh, pick all my documents and uh, hide them at a safe place. And, uh, and what did he specify? Any particular types of documents? His bank books. And his title deeds. And other important documents. Uh, Basically, uh, documents pertaining to his properties. Munta wale mnyindi kaito lumenu la keta ala bagasu la la fengulu ulakuwa be kaito lumenu bala. Ah. Yes. Uh, and uh, this is uh, in a dispute of ownership over properties between him and Yaya Jame. These are documents that would have been very central in that case, wouldn't they? Munta wo kaitolo, wo nyo sababu wala wo kawali yomembe tema, wo kaitolo mu fenu la kaitolo ti korda na nyong kukutangu lumeni alonko, ikula kukuuma yata ba ke katu ning a keta kuri Gambia la mulo nata kunya nyinta, bitu ibaje la ko bitu wo kaitolo. Wole kulu bebe wole kono menu denta atela kuwa lao ila kuwa lao tumu. 
I, I am not sure that's what I said, but okay, uh, okay. let me rephrase the question again okay. and, and you would interpret. Okay. I got lost somewhere along the line during okay. the interpretation. Okay. But what I'm saying is uh, the documents you were asked to take and keep away would be documents that would be central in a dispute over uh, properties of the business. Yes, there were such documents amongst them. So he has asked you to go and keep these documents away from the reach of authorities, correct? He said that because he knew that they will not only stop at, at his arrest, that they will come to the house and make a search. And uh, did they come to search? In le bankanaje visite. Yes, they came and they searched the entire place. Did they see what they were looking for? Ibe meni ni kandu ni nata jele bang. Ah, ibe kaito ni ni kani, ibe kido ni ni kang. They were looking for documents. They were looking out for guns. Inkesol bariman fenge. Bullets, but they did not find anything. Did did any guns exist? For otumo kido. At that time, in Baba's possession or control. Otumo dun for kido lube Baba bulule numbang. Na Baba bulule nyama je no anamna fenge. If he heard them, I never saw them with my eyes, and he never spoke to them, to me about them. But of course, there were documents. Documents, yes, they were there. But they were hidden away. Yes, I took all of them out. So the evidence could not be obtained. What kind of evidence? The existence of those properties under Baba's name. Yes, there was evidence. It was the documents they did not see. But the documents were made in a particular place. And when they got there, they found them. Good. So after all this search, how, for how long did, he, did Baba remain in detention? At some stage, he was the first arrest, he was released on bail, wasn't he? And then subsequently rearrested. He was arrested and, and, taken, and taken to the police headquarters. He spent the night there. On the second day, he was taken to court. When he got to court, he was bailed and he returned back home. Few days later. Few days later. He was preparing to visit his uh, gr grandma in Jara. Yeah, ambush the daisy local. They laid an ambush for him along the way. Tato birakana tawa ambush ma. When he was going, but when he escaped from that ambush. Anato butu ya arrest. On his way back, he got arrested. Anala anala mul mimi bisi. And the people that he was on that journey. How do you know that? Uh, an ambush was laid for him. Those that said the ambush, one of them left the group and called the Baba and told him exactly what was being planned for him. And, and there was a vehicle which they were con trying to convince Baba to get into that vehicle, but he ended up telling Baba not to agree to that. 
when Baba would not board that vehicle, the driver we are coming communicate. The driver knew what was being communicated. Because another woman will be communicate can constantly. Because he was communicating with with his people constantly. As they were getting close to where the ambush was set up, he parked the, the vehicle and said that he was uh, stepping away to pee. Because Baba because he knew that Baba was not in the vehicle. When he went for that pin, he never came back again. The vehicle remained parked there until they end up, ended up taking the key. And, uh, they took the key and handed it over to the police. But during that time, Baba got into another vehicle and went on his way. That vehicle was Julake Marena's. Not a driver. And his driver. But upon his return, he was arrested. But bring a muruta nang koteke ina tamuta. Ha, a muruta na a bira a muruta na siloka anata fosi ba anor police station ya arrest koteke. Yes, when he came back up till the Spanish police station, he got arrested. Ana doma ana barindigo. And his uh, younger brother and nephew. Ana tiri ma killing. And uh, one of his friends. Yeah, Samba straight to police training school. They took him straight to the police training school. A six months like out. And he spent six months there. And, we, and where is the police training school? What police training school be mean? It's in Banjulunding. A Kabo training school also. He used to come out of the training school. Kata court. To go to court. Ulungome ya convict. Until the day that he got convicted. Who who were his lawyers during the time of his trial? La kito be kerin tuma me na jumanyo le mala loyal tino otumo. Usman Silla, lawyer Usman Silla, mala loyal tino. Lawyer Usman Silla was his lawyer. Bari biring kuo bita akang fanyato. But as things proceeded uh, later on, yala lawyer bu. They shot his lawyer. Oda bata defense team okon. And he was never a part of the defense team again. My party to the My party remained. Lawyer Jobati to the Lawyer Jobati remained. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the lawyer Usman Silla, you said he was shot. Because lawyer Usman Silla, ya bunki dola. Ah, ya bunki dola la korra bunda. Yes, he was shot uh, at uh, the front of his compound. Did he survive the shooting? Uh, an attack balule bangi wo bundiro kola. Yes, he survived, he despite uh, suffering a lot. And uh, did you eventually get to hear uh, who shot him? I was in the village of Jumale Abu. Yes, I later on got to know that he was shot by Yaya's people. Do you have a belief as to why Yaya Jame's people shot Baba Job's lawyer? For e ku soto le mensi landi ko nyine mu dalilo to me yaken ya jamela molu be baba job la loya bunna ah dalila ko yo soto le mensa itandi ko wala na ya loya bun yes because i have a clear reason why his lawyer would be shot loya nyi bita ka nyamen court the way the lawyer was uh, presenting himself to court na continuita if he had continued baba be case win na baba would have won the case because ye uliya le dabal dabal drong because they just uh, concocted uh, false allegations and uh, to use that to imprison Baba and ultimately to kill him. And this lawyer was unraveling these uh, plans yeah, go, one at a time. Yeah, go, so they saw that if this man is not moved out of the way, they would be, be shamed because Baba would end up winning the case and what they want, they will not get. Uh, that is your view, isn't it? Well, Personal um, view. Yes. And many also see things in that light. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, but even lawyer Maifati, something happened to him afterwards. Yes, something happened to him eventually. Because I found an accident also. To. Because he too had an accident. Not a moiko, ya jamela mulebo accidental co. Well, Eliat in no accidental cause. And I later got to hear that the, the people of Ya Jamis people were behind the accident. Left Taka my fatty fananfa. That they also wanted to kill my fatty. Because Ikaji Abelurin Baba in Yami. Because of the way he was representing Baba. Because what time, Momo Sutiata Baba. 
At that time, anyone that gets close to, uh, to Baba, when you are working, they will suck you from work. If you are into business, they will arrest you and uh, bring problems to you. Anyone that was prepared to take up Baba's case will be sacrificed. All of them made great sacrifices. So we thank them for that. So that was what happened. So both my Fathi and uh, lawyer Usman Silla were somehow attacked, according to you, by uh, forces belonging to Yaya Jami, correct? Munta wala mnyindi ko. Kabirin loya Usman Silla aning my Fathi. Nyilube ye nyim manto rolu menu taki. Yaya Jami la mwole yo kolu kewolu la. Wala keta? That was what happened. And... Uh, how about lawyer Jobate? Did anything happen to him? Lawyer Jobate, do you have any questions? How do you have any questions? I cannot recall at any time whether something happened to him. But I knew that he was being confronted by the NIA. He usually got strange calls. Those things happened. But that was the system at the time. Yes, all are in agreement of the, uh, that, that that was the order of the day. Before, during, and after uh, Baba Job's arrest, correct? Correct. Yes. Um, so eventually, he was convicted, wasn't he? For economic crimes. Between we be kola lo imbiri ya kitindi ina ataku afuko ya sorone puru fanko bankola fanko kayo letinya. Ah. Yes. And before which judge, do you remember? For hakilo sibola judge jumaleo akirote. Justice M A Paul. Justice M A Paul. Ah. Did you attend the proceedings? For ekama bele kirole tuno. Angama be kirole tuno. Yes, I used to be present. I know you are not a lawyer, um, but you are a rational and reasonable person. How did you see the trial? How did you see the trial? That uh, trial was not in conformity with the law. It was not even close to the law. Because the one who is leading the country, the judge that was put in that place was a machinery judge. He put that person there so that that person would work according to his dictates so that he gets what he wants. And that was what he did to convict Baba. And, and after they convicted him, they now went on to kill him. Yo, so I will not tell Jahal to ask questions. So I will not judge men. Before we need to continue, let the bank for money to continue. That is why we were surprised to say whether that judgment, whether that should be allowed to stand as it is. Well, well, on that particular issue, you'd have to discuss with your lawyer. Um, but uh, let's talk about what happened to Baba uh, when he was sentenced. Saying, between the two, we took him. Any other lawyer is okay, Chano. But if you are in Canada, you be money not to keep Baba. La bring a lawyer alone. The the part we are most concerned about is the violation of his human rights. Until you are telling the men, we will call a hadamaya nyanto lutinya. That's the bit we want to focus. Lafta nyanto telling na wolela. Uh, especially uh, those rights that have a violent character. Let's talk about his uh, detention, his incarceration at Mile 2 prisons. Yes. Human rights abuse began in the court. 
Since you would not want me to continue to give clarity on that issue, but no, it began in the court. But I understand uh, you. Uh, no, if you, if you know of a particular rights violations that occurred in the court, of course, by all means, say it. That's why I asked you the question how you felt about the trial. Please, please bring it out. That is what I am saying. You know, Baba wasn't given a chance to have a fair trial. When they saw his lawyer was uh, doing the right things, they removed him. So he was never given a chance to have a fair trial. The court order you alluded to before, I wasn't aware of it. No one was aware of it. The lawyer did not know. They did it in closed doors. And then they came out with it. Just recently. Just recently that I saw it. Human right abuse man there is no human rights which can be more than that. But also, After that, not prison also. let's go to the prisons now. Yeah, Baba Soro. When Baba was locked up, man so they would not allow anyone to visit him. Uh, well, did you ever see him while he was in prison? Yes, I once saw him. When was the first time you saw him? Yaje wati juma le sinya follow follow me yaje. Biri ya soro ngamira after year, after sanji killing ne ngamira na taje ni manina. I think it was after a year of his imprisonment, if I have not forgotten, that I got to see him. How did you make a request to see him within that first year of his incarceration? Fanya katale numpuru kaje wosangu ni mkono watu me ya soro kutake. Sinya jama jama jama. Many many times. I went there, I remember, I went up to David's own compound to talk to him, to beg him so that I would be able to see Baba. But he would not uh, accept. He said until if their time was due. And that they were operating on the executive orders. So I could not do anything beyond what he said. I went home and sat down and left everything in the hands of God. It was during that time. I also uh, put up some plans. I looked at the officers. Some of the officers I trusted. And I discussed with them so that we could look at what could be done, how they could assist me to enable me to communicate with Baba. By God's assistance, we used to exchange notes. When I take a blank sheet, I'll write a note on it. I'll give it to that particular officer, and he will take it on to Baba. Baba will reply me. When he replies back to me, I will keep them. You see, all these notes are our communication. Some are there which are in the room. And that was not the only thing I did. I tried all possibilities to secure a simple phone, buy one, Prison officer, and give to a prison officer smuggle, so that he could smuggle it I the prison, okay? into the prison I the Amula, Baba, eh? so that when I want to speak to Baba I can the phone, I can communicate. that particular officer will pass it to him so that we could communicate. Imperator, and when I'm done I telephone the prison officer, okay? he will return the telephone back to that particular prison officer. But, but he was not doing it for free. Sometimes, I'll give him a thousand dollars at the end of the month. Sometimes, two thousand dollars or three thousand five hundred. I wasn't giving it to him alone. Baba's brother, younger brother, Ibrahim Job, 
And whenever they had any problem, you'll go to Baba and tell him. And Baba would tell me. And he would send them to me. And then I will confirm that over the telephone with him. And then I'll take the amount and hand it over to them. They don't allow any provisions to go inside. Nothing by way of provision gets in. But through the assistance of God, I usually used these prison officers. And I will buy provisions like soap, toothpaste, toothpaste, toothbrush, toothbrush, corn beef, corn beef, cake oil, milk, sucrol, and fenjamal, sugar, and other items. And I used to give to the prison officer. He would smuggle it in into to Baba. Sometimes two, two, every two weeks. I did this sometimes every two weeks. Sometimes karo. Sometimes monthly. But for the food, every day. I used to cook it every day. Then in 12 o'clock. Before 12, I'm always done. Then in 12 o'clock, before 12 o'clock, I'm always done. When I'm ready, uh, when you are going to the prison itself, there's a particular warehouse where they sell, they sold mattresses, foam. There's a small shop close by, which has, a, which has a, a, a small door, and that was where I used to keep the food. When I keep the food there, but before that, I would have communicated with the prison officer. They will go there and pick up the food and take it inside for Baba. I used to do this several times. Madam Witness, why was it necessary for you to cook food? Uh, take it to that shop by the foam factory to get it smuggled for Baba into the prison. Why was it necessary to do that? Mune ya kendi anyanta hani fo ikatami road ke yuko tabiro dunia dada foye bandi ika samba ubiti kundi moto wo factory o balaje ikanying foam dada daming purunying kamala isha dundi ika samba Baba. Anke tabiro ke ika samba because ila tabiro member prison. I used to cook and take it because the food that they had in prison, Baba said it wasn't good. Among nutritious. It wasn't nutritious. And if you ate it, and uh, you stood on it, kept you, you kept uh, eating it, it usually gave you a, a sickness called beriberi. Your, you become swollen, your face becomes swollen, your hands become swollen, and you have a bloated stomach, and your feet too are swollen. That was why Baba never ate it. But he also told me that, several times, that on several times, that attempts have been made to poison him. And that was why he never accepts the food, to eat the food there. And anything that is close to it, he never eat it. That was when I took it upon myself and made it my responsibility to make sure that I cooked food for him every day for Baba's safety. Yeah. Uh, but you were taking great risks to send food and provisions to the mile two prisons. And obviously, uh, that would not have happened uh, without the collaboration of prison officers. But what level 
of prison officers were you dealing with? Kato eka kule ya bale salang buruka ukoke katabiru ke baba ye aninka fereke ka adundi ka futandi yama kasoko no silang umukule tume yalongo akuleata no but it's saying it and ka ining prison officer juma mo fason juma nyole ka o kuota mani numoto mo ning junior officer ka kile did it with junior officers ning senior officer some senior officer fanan ka kile I did it also with some senior officers. But the uh, junior officer came in time and what, uh, what we operated with the junior officers. When senior officers will time and clear. The issues are not the same with that which we did with the senior officers. Okay. Uh, break it down for us so we understand. We have, we have to make recommendations for institutional reform. Mm -hmm. There should not be a reason why, why people should cook food in their homes to send it to the prison. Bonye nyoto, katu ntulu fanali nyanta ya maro lekela kulu meni alonko wolebe dendi nkasola ane nkasola nkulu ni nkasoku nkulu. Sae mune ya kendi abe jare la nyina puru moye tabiru kekaki moye kasola. The food in the prison should be good enough for everybody. Katu kasu, domoro menka dada kasoko no. Anyanta bete ala lehanu fo mo wongondi nsa domo no. Uh, while the commission would definitely make recommendations to change that problem, to solve that problem, but it is also important for the commission to know the system of smuggling contraband into the prison. So that both and other problems can be solved. So that is why your testimony in this regard is very important. So for the commission to understand the system that worked for you. Proceed, please. It wasn't the food alone. What we did with the senior officers, for instance, even when it came to going to the hospital, when Baba wants to go to the hospital, I must see the senior officers. David Bell Connolly. David was amongst them. Which which David? David Duma. David Coley. David Coley. Prison, former prison director. Former prison director. Uh, was he just a director in the prison? For director, the man named Martin Nkasoko, no? No, no, I really remember that. That is what I remember. Uh, did he have a boss in the prison? For the Nyaton Kadobate Nyatole Nkasole Jeva. No, I tell him Nyaton Koti Jeva. No, he was the leader. So you're referring to David Coley, Director General of Prison Service. Amunta ibe mwema wale David Coley atele mu Director General ti kasudu kukuna. Atele mu Director General ti kasudu kukuna. Yes, he was the Director General of the Prison Service. Kindly tell us what you were doing with him. Afonye inate ka mungkule tamandi. Uru ise baba amutaku. So that they would handle baba with care. Now, so that the doctor and Tala say access to no yama ko echa lo. And that when he needed to go to the hospital, he will be given the assistance he needs to get there. Because ngaje lo ko na lo ftapur ka tala lo pita ninsa sa ama batandi imuka chance di alo pura ita lo pita. Because we realized that any time he wanted to go to the hospital, except the the sickness disturbs him properly, they never allowed him to go. Are you suggesting that he was being denied? routine access to the hospital. Amunta ebe njina foka nko, ikabalane purni wati meng anyanta tala lopitano to jara rola siloka ikabalangama. Ah, ikabalangala. Yes, he was denied. And what was it that you used to do with David Coley to gain Baba permission to go to the hospital? Saying, eteka mungkule tamandi inin David Coley tema purni nyin kamala Baba si silo soto no purka tala lopitano. That is his needs. Because 
I saw that what I, when I did something that was pleasing to him because I once bought him a generator and I once gave him $10,000. The 10000 was the cost for the generator. And that was not it. That Baba's younger brother called Ibrahim Job. He bought four television sets and three amplifiers. All the three prisons in the Gambia, Joshua, Joshua television on the amplifier, a television and an amplifier, mile two, mile two, television on the amplifier, television and amplifier, Janjambure, Janjambure, television on the amplifier, a television and an amplifier, television kilometers to the remaining television, David personal use, that was for David's personal use. All what, those things happened. Why were you giving these things to David Kohli? Because the safety we did all of these things just to ensure that they took care of Baba decently and properly. Uh, would Baba had received a normal and regular uh, life in the prisons if you did not give these things to David Kolly. <laughs> They will not treat him decently. And that was the reason why we did these things. In a sense, Madam Witness, you're telling us that you had to bribe David Kohli in order to ensure that Baba was treated in the way he ought to have been treated. Madam, David Kohli Kamala, Asikulu Tamandi Baba La Carola, Katel Sulata, Kula Nyaming, Aning Alafta, Baba La Kulu Lala Nyaming. Yes, it can, it can be called a bribe because that is something that was not supposed to happen. Was there ever an occasion? Where David Kohli requested for something specific. For David Kohli Fangose Nyin Kaning, Kafon Sulata Nyin Fengkari Lela Wala Nyin Kukari Puru Aliolu Kai. Or has he ever called you to complain about a need of his? He did not tell me personally, but Baba's younger brother, Ibrahim Job, he used to tell them several times. Let's clarify that. Who used to tell who what? David Kakole. David used Hadoum to call him fai. and tell him his problems. So like he, he and he used to solve them. In a sense, you're saying that David used to call Ibrahim Job asking for a bribe in order to ensure the better upkeep of Baba Job within the presence. David ka Ibrahim Kumandile, Purunin Kamala, Asaduku, at a left amena yokai. Puru isi baba la kulu topoto no nyaming kasoko noje aetanka. Ha, mosa kiruala, because wola women kake wole katina, sometimes song, ni Ibrahim Sulata Baba Jela Watu wat aka jelen dakataji David la office olokon. Yes, most of the time. It will be called that name. Because that was one of the reasons why Ibrahim Job, each time he wanted to see Baba, he was given access and the, the meeting used to happen inside David's own office. How do you know that? I witnessed, I witnessed one. I was there myself. And Ibrahim too used to tell me. Apart from David Kohli, who else did you use to bribe among the senior officers at the prisons? David Kohli from Okola, prison Dukula Nyatonkulu, Aligi Neneka Jumanyole Dukuje. Sang Old Tool, Honey Wolf. Now I cannot recall those names. 
Pao David Lenko Kuntongoti. Since David is the head of uh, the place. Nungai Tandile Konim Prison Officer Ikamako Ilenka Traffic Inke. And I indicated to you that the prison officers used to assist me to do trafficking. And since it's the trafficking that you want to know whether it is in existence, already know established the which I already established before. Uh, yes, but uh, in addition to that too, I would want to know who was involved. We have established David. David, fangola kuo lungao lanke na male wolonta. Dobe je kafu Ismaila. There was one called Ismaila. Last name, please. Ismaila Kuli. Ismaila Kuli. What was his position? Ala makamu mnu mune tivo tembo palazo mbablu. Amantara ngamira malondal exactly. It's not ngamira. Amanke junior officer ti, but amanke da most senior officer fanandi. Ave in between la, but imala fengko long exactly. I don't know. I don't fengkolo. know exactly what his uh, rank was, but I could say he was a mid officer. Do you recall what bribes you gave him? Ya kilo sibula la yem duku fason diatela. Smile okay. Watu watu lembo ve suoko no fengko mano. I saw smile is every time in the house. Clothes, rise. It's, it seems like you had a salary for some of them. Abeko, Monthly salary. Ye kari wo kari jole fongo soto e kamendi nyili la tumodolo. Ah, tebe mool kono le menka salary soto. Yes, he was amongst people who got salaries. Uh, who got salaries from you? Menuka jo muta etebulu. Ikamuta etebulu, ikamuta Ibrahim Ajobulu. They got it from me and they also got it from Ibrahim Ajobulu. And do you know how much is the salary, or was the salary for a junior prison officer? Oh, yeah, lonely. We know your salary. Kwa umjo mendi la wanya. Jela mu puru me ya longo kaso la duku la le muadi mambe dini ulukono. Deka mendi la bangfoi kama mensa tayi fanga la. You mean what I used to give them, or what they get as part of their work as Let, prison officers? Let's first establish how much government paid them on a monthly basis. Nani londi follow mensa kunda kijo jelly la karibu kari? Nani maolo? No, I don't know that one. The commission has come to learn that some prison officers at grade three would receive uh, about one thousand dollars a month. Nani long asotota ko? Uh, prison officer Udulu, ka dalasi wulikili ne soto mene be grade three kari wokari. You are paying more than the government monthly salary a month. Munda etaka men dila eke jo men wala kasi ya man sakunda fanga la joti kari wokari. Ah, wato man sakunda fana e responsibility sato le niyaje wal fana be akla in such a way. Well then the government too has a responsibility given the way these five people are acting. That's the reason why we brought it out. Deli lole ya sabu nga fintindi na? And why you are such a very important person to them, because uh, you were paying them more than the government was paying them. Well, na itela koko maya ta itelubulu kendeke katu itebe jokang jola mensi ata haniman sakunda fongoke jo men. Ah, ntolke okay because nsula ta baba la safety lela. We did that because we wanted to ensure baba's safety. Nu wajar na ntoli fongo bela. And that was worth. Anything for us. That was why we did all those things. I cannot even begin to mention. Fact, we did many uh, naming ceremonies for some. For some, we bought rice for them. Others, we, others we bought cooking oil. Others, television sets. There were many. I cannot remember all of them. But whatever I needed also, they ensured that it got to Baba. Madam yeah. Witness, the prison administration was corrupt to the core. Would you agree? Madam, if you say that the people who are living in the world are living in the world, they are living in the world, they are living in the world. That is true. Uh, let us uh, move on. And uh, while Baba was in prison, uh, you tried as much as possible to help get him out. Nata ten ten say, Baba was in prison at the moment. Ye kato sifa nya beleke purka finti ndi kasola. Fonde. Let's talk about those efforts. Wakata kuwa lusayi ngulufonye bang. 
Before I talk to you about those uh, attempts, let me, Nka, I forgot something. Nka video I used to rent uh, video cassettes. DVD These DVDs. Nigerian films. Nigerian films. Sometimes 20 cassettes. Sometimes 20 cassettes. Sometimes 15. Sometimes 15. Nka di prison officer la. I used to give to the prison officers. Ka samba i ka jubeje. In the free period. And they used to, to watch them there Nye when they are free. Parita. And after watching all of them, they will return them back to me. And I will return them back and rent a new set. I used to do that also. So, I remember when you were I forgot what you just said. Now, let's talk about the efforts you have made to secure Baba's release, including uh, your meeting with uh, Muammar Gaddafi. I forgot what you said. Pour que les baba bula aiboka sola, ou kono ininga da fi fanga la nyoje o keta menti. Ya nga kata kujama ke pour que baba finti kaso kono. Yes, I made several attempts to an efforts to see that baba gets out of prison. In kata ku onim family bele denta langa ke. All these efforts was a result of a joint effort with the family. Biri ala prison term banta. When his uh, prison term expired. David I went to David Colley. I said to him, this guy has served his prison term. All of them said yes, it has come to an end. So I asked, when is he going to be released? But he refers me to the interior ministry. After he referred me to the interior, Data interior several times. I went to the interior department several times. Urka Usman Sonko. So that Usman Sonko. I could see him. Nae Baba la bulaku kacha. And we could discuss Baba's issue. But what you are nika ku tida Baba job lem. But each time he was told is tida Baba job. Amuka song purkanje. He never accept to meet me. No, okay, for I did that for almost three times. Not an hour stop. And then I stopped. Murta prison. I returned to the prisons. Uh, for David, yeah. And told David. And he said things have to come from the interior department. Uh, then I left that. Family not a senior. Okay? The family gathered. Uh, uh, and discussed. Later on, the former president of Yajame. And we wrote a letter to the former president, Yaya Jame. Clemency letter. A clemency letter. To show him, to, to remind him that Baba's time has expired. But that he, Yaya Jame, wasn't aware. Obviously, alone. Obviously, he was aware. But we assumed he did not know, so we put it in that way. Because because he was the type of person who could uh, you could communicate to in that kind of language. So, so we wrote to him, we praised him, told him things. And he replied to us oh. that Baba was just like a brother to him. That Baba was just like a brother to him. But what happened to Baba? Baba was the one that caused that on himself. Because he, Yaya Jame, he was the reason why Gambia got to know Baba Job. But Baba decided to make himself look big. That was uh, the, the response he, he, read, he responded that letter. We would, we would come to the response. Then he said, but he will consider it. So we later set aside. So I set that letter aside. Uh, uh, could you could you hold a second? Uh, you said you said in your letter of clemency. Uh, you had to, you had to say things to the president. In order to please him. 
Why did you have to do that? You have a constitutional right to petition the president. Uh, I want well, to remind you about your own words, which you said well, the order of the day. We are praise. You must praise him. So the same thing will apply to Jamfana. So that was the same thing that applied here. That's the only way. That was the only way. We could talk to him and have his attention. So we must humble ourselves. Uh, uh, take a look at this document. Uh, was that the letter of clemency? Yes, this, this was the letter of clemency. Could you send it back to me? And uh, this would be the response. The letter of clemency is 25th October 2010, and the response from the government is... Uh, 5th of November. Take a look at that. <coughs> yes, this is it. Uh, Mr. Chair, I would like to read this uh, aspects of the letter just to uh, hammer home some of the points raised by the witness. Uh, I'll then pass on the document to the chair. Please proceed, Council. Uh, the letter is addressed to His Excellency the President. Letter on Yasafe Kaki, Banco President of His Excellency. Uh, Sheikh Professor Dr. Al Haji Yahya AJJ Jammi. Sheikh Professor Dr. Al Haji Yahya AJJ Jammi. And uh, the letter emanated from Aja Fatu Fofana of Jara Karantaba. And the letter of Botameya Ekafole Aja Fatu Fofana, member Jara Karantaba. And the second paragraph reads as follows. Amunda kaito bala safero la burindi fulanjamo ayinene fo. Says first, I I pray to the Almighty Allah to continue to grant you the wisdom and fortitude to govern our dear nation in peace and progress. Kumbi mansatella Daniela asini sembo ninga fero ning a a a kamodila. Second, I wish to congratulate you on your marriage to my very beautiful daughter-in-law, Lady Alima Jamme. And I should have been in the midst of the wedding affairs, but for the distance and nature of my current circumstances. And However, my prayers uh, are constantly with you. And I am asking Allah to grant you both manifold blessings and a lifetime of conjugal bliss. Yo mbeman satalla danila puru hanimbi asi isembentu ya karafulo bela jido si sono yaima anim fanang ya ila solo moment fala sa adila ko ila fatala nyaming interesting your excellency and my son your excellency ndima let me acknowledge to you that whatever fra whatever fame good name or material possessions accrued to Baba Job and to entirety of our family during his period of association with you was down to your generosity and grace. Baba Job 
amumeo be sababu sunta itela e, yamfo nila songolekang he himself has always reiterated this fact and we have been equally appreciative ate fango katunyi mfulale wati o wati andunkulo mnyintime alonko ndelfanalo adiata nyongole nyama even now when i communicate with him in his current condition of incarceration i always tell him that i would rather he remains in jail as long as he is with you than he is free but is cut off from you re hane ala taro kasoko no na kanyi nyomo yo lumenu beketeng ka kumolu sindi nyoma en kadwa nyinela hana be tula kasoko no bari ina la teria nin hadama ya yetenteng wala be fisia la nyeng dina ay bokasola al yekuntu personally I believe what happened has happened because it was decreed by Allah the all knowing God. La ta'ala ko menketa akita le dro adun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wala fango kitita la kai ke wala nyama wala na keta wonya. Today after about 7 years of imprisonment I pray that you grant Baba presidential pardon and clemency. Mbedani la bi ni lungo kang Bwari baba felenti ay sanji woro wala nini fella kasola woto mbe danila president wala sembo na la kango kang ye yam fa baba e nyin kamala asifinti kasola afansoto i ask this of you as a mother and as a loyal subject mbe kanin na nyin na ko muy baleti andu ngo kola mbe muy la mara roleti me yalon ko mbe la banko la kang my family and i will be eternally grateful to you for everything and we implore you to return your favors to us ntenin na dimbayalo fojan nim faw mbetar la sondi male yo ndum be danila yewo ku kendo yam fo nyin yewo kenyeng ko leftala nyamin e bitu mbe danila wo fanala my president my son let me conclude by praying for your continuous success and prosperity na president ndingo mbedrua le ye fanan fo alasi kontine ka eso yirwa ni tanya tola anin e maraku nyimma me yalon ko asibo allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fangu best example of how to make somebody's head big yenu musanti ngole te pour que mo fango nyandi afantu ay nganya and let us listen to the response saying at fanan na jabiro na takamenti ngaw fanan la moy on behalf of his excellency the president sheikh professor alhaji dr alhaji yahya i am sorry i let me take it again ako al haketu mbata ala kuke koteke on behalf of his excellency the president sheikh professor alhaji dr yahya aj jaye jamme i have the honor to acknowledge receipt of your correspondence of 25th november 2010 relative to this subject bitung nte banko president his excellency sheikh professor Dr Alhaji Yahya Ejeje Jamme mbe ni yitan la ko ila letero men ya kinan mbe kala mutandila ni nako nga sotole men keta karo november karo til muang ani luloti His Excellency the President has directed that I convey to you his profound gratitude and appreciation for the prayers goodwill and the kind sentiments you have expressed in your letter At the president ni mfom fana yeko mfanansi jabiro kiye a financier wota be konto na kuma kan nyimalula jay rolu anin ye kuma kan lu menno fo pour que sindiama mfanan ba e konto na kuma kan kendolu la yemen kin kanu and your recognition of what his excellency has contributed in making your son baba job and family what they were ani mfanan ye nyin kala mutandiro yitandi ka foko idim ma baba job ame menti bi anin ala dimbaya lu nim badungulu ak sababo be keta menti wala keta kabontela karola 
His Excellency has indicated that he has treated Baba Job as a brother, but what he received in return was incomprehensible. Benyi itani lako ati Baba Job mutali nuko abadi sutungo baribitu inata kolu menu murundi atekang. Amunda wole mnyindi wakoto mnyindi kwa baba jobu na ata menke atela umukule time ya alonko mwota afahamu nwala. In the same vein, ateo sila kilingo kang, His Excellency pointed out that baba jobu was previously unknown except to the former NSS and police, but rather became a household name in this country and beyond because of His Excellency the President. Follow to. Baba job mumoleti mama mello nyimbang kungkang aman to soto andung amang to bo sotong yo utumo meni yalong walom NSS aning utumo NIA aning yin kanta bunda kotengulu bari anata yin to bo ba men soto aning sembo wobe dalilo nin sabo yin ala nin tele ya sabu. His Excellency the President would also like to note that Baba job has only himself to blame for his present situation as he became too big. What President, His Excellency President Kabeni Itandila Ko, Baba Job Abe Tembo Mento B, a common si a fangoma, a fangola baro leo sabu a fangoma, katuni labangola, an attack a moliti meya long ko, I have found what a bark elephant ambita. Then the concluding paragraph. Uh, Mr. Chair, we would ask to put these two documents in evidence. The first one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, indeed, very nice words of praise. And uh, a very fitting response to so whose boss. Aning jabiru me ya longko, aketa jabiru ti membota ako ala bosle moti mengeta jabiru ta i mentalindi i mentalindi atela miraro. Did anything come out as a result of this request? Did he do anything? Following bringing kanindro aketa ni letter ota ta mengeta ni yamfada ni letter oti. For anata kukele bang. Nothing happened. Was this your only effort? Not this one alone. Please tell us. We were there. We heard that it was going on a farmer's store. I tried. By one of his uh, big photographs. I looked for one. Frame. And I put it inside the frame. Jara. I went to Jara. At that time, it was around Basse. I gave to the boys. And they put it by Baba's compound. The compound is by the highway. I went inside the village. I looked for people who would uh, do the singing and the dancing. Traditional musicians. Traditional musicians. Bring a Kenya langolini. When I looked for these traditional musicians, ngamol mobilize. I mobilized people. Lota silo karantangola. They stood by the highway drumming. Kabo karantaba. From karantaba. Kata jara soma kang. Up towards jara soma. Ibe denkilo lala. They were singing songs. Ibe bulol kusila. Clapping hands. Ibe yaya jame tofora. And they were mentioning yaya's name. Ngapobli no sang green wano. I bought a green uh, cloth. Oblino, not a flag. Jamadeda. And I made a lot of flags out of it. Ngatala o musoltema. And I distributed to these women. Saying biringe bira kana lunga me anyan takata meeting oke soma. The day was to come. He supposed to have a meeting in soma. Butu ni musol ngi line na bunda tofu soma siloka. I lined up these women from my the, the compound of our house to towards to soma. I left them there and I went to where the meeting was being held. When I got to where the meeting was held, 
I stood in line. Say full color damning. Where the chiefs were standing. Abi bulo di kamola. He was shaking the hands of people. Bila futa tama bulo di na. When he got to me, he shook my hand. Okay, His Excellency, tell him Tida Baba Job. I said to him, Your Excellency, it's me, Tida Ada Job. Tida Baba Job. Tida Tida Baba Job. Nila tale purunie nyoje. I came so that we could see each other. Kwenye ko Mansa Kongo. He said to me, Mansa Kongo. The following day, the following day, sorry, to Mansa Kongo. I went early to Mansa Kongo. That one also, I stood at the door. I remember that time Wajuara was the governor. I remember that time Wajuara was the governor. I had said it to Wajuara that I want, wanted him to assist me to meet the president. But Wajuara couldn't do anything as far as my surname was concerned. But Wajuara couldn't do anything as far as my surname was concerned. I was there. I couldn't see him. I couldn't see him. But then I heard that they were going to have a meeting in Kiang. I said, well, let me go to Kiang. If I get there, it could be I would be able to speak to him. Then I went to Kiang. That too, I stood in line where the chiefs were standing. They used to allow me to stand there because they knew me. When he got to me and shook my hand, I said to him, I was in Mansa Konko, but I was unable to see you. He smiled and passed on. He didn't say anything to me. But he insisted on me to try and struggle to find blood. But at that time, it was difficult for me to shake his hand. But I insisted until I was eventually able to shake his hand. I can't lie. I remember that time. 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 He spoke to me in an angry tone. I left there, went away, and sat down. I sat until the meeting ended. When they left there, they were supposed to go to Kanilai. I was tired. I couldn't get there eventually. I returned to Karantaba. Then the following day. Then the following day. I returned back to the combos. I was here. One other time, I was on my way to the market with a friend of mine around the state house. We saw him coming out with a few guards. Martin was amongst them. Kamara too was there. But the others, I did not know them. Which Martin? Which Martin? Who Martin? Martin member state house. Martin at the state house. Martin. Alaji Martin. Alaji Martin. The members state house. Alaji Martin. Alaji Martin. The members state house. Martin. Alaji Martin. The members state house. 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 Alaji I said to him, Hechi, it's me, Tida Baba Job. Please, the family is suffering. Once I said Tida Baba Job, Kamara hit my hand. My hand slipped away. He turned and looked at Kamara. He didn't speak to him. But I ended up shaking his hand again because I insisted and I shook his hand. I said to him, Hechi, please have mercy. The family is suffering. He smiled. He smiled. Then what I Then I left. That. And went away. I was there. Tida. Yeah. At this stage, Baba Job had already finished serving his sentence. In Tembeng, we are talking about a job like this. So, a kind of fire, a bomb, fering. A bomb, fering. He completed it, and they refused to release him. The balance of poor Kabula. Ah, the balance of poor Kabula. Yes, they refused to release him. His detention at this period became unlawful. Ila muto watu waire ala wicheo banda watu luati ni alimwoti. Ah, luati ni alim, luami tati ni harini. Yes, it was unlawful, and then. This regard for the law, which has been here for a long time. What happened after that? I was there. It was uh, getting close to Ramadan. 
ka sukur talaki usually distributed sugar bringa may lunga me na yanta ka sukur tala when i got to hear about the day on which he was to distribute the sugar at the state house data state house i went to the state house bring for that je when i got there ndara lo lr ar mol ka lo damen i stood where the lr people used to stand ila sey fol ni la alcalo la dis parti militants ka lo damen they achieved the alcalos and their party militants where they used to stand lo ta je i stood there ay bulo di mol la he shook people's hands afuta tamma until he got to me When he got to me, okay, I said to him, Hechi. Tell him Tida Baba Job. It's me, Tida Baba Job. Natalie Puri Nyekaja. I came so that we could discuss. Atonta. He turned. Akonye foi bejan. He said to me, Are you here? Okay, ham bejan. I said to him, Yes, I'm here. Atonta Alaji Martin. He turned to Alaji Martin. Akonga tani Alaji Martin e diam. He said I should go and talk with Alaji Martin. Ni Alaji Martin tata wala nyama. I went with Alaji Martin just like that. Tata ala office. We went to his office. Irin futa reje. When we got there, Alaji Martin ko nyemune problem ot. Alaji Martin asked me what is the problem? Ngai ko. I said to him that eh APRC. APRC. Nim pilal bala. If they there were any pillars under the APRC. Baba dabe o pilal le kon. Baba is among those pillars. Do ngalo ne ko. And also I know that ala tam banta bar hechi malo his term present term has expired but the president was in the way lafta ka londi wala i want to make him aware of that ay yamfa so that he will have uh, mercy in bay be batarin because the family was suffering bar ngalo ne president wala lon i knew that the president knew what about it bar in sidiam no way doro ne nyam but i must speak in that manner bring her for way after i said that to him akonyi ko to nyale he said to me it is true Konye baba yemenke APRC. He said what baba did for the APRC. Ma fo ko moneni takela de. I am not saying that no one else would ever do such a thing. But the moment tambara. But no one is above him. Ala card bonna ya dinna. He removed his card and gave it to me. Konye calling call. And he said to me constantly keep calling me. But any president of free ta wato menna. But any time that the president is free. De ko mba fole ne yena ina meet. I will tell you so that you could come and meet him. Okay, okay. I said to him, okay. That. And I left. Say to wala nyama. And I went home like that. Man sukuru dinna. They gave me no sugar. Fana me nyininka. I also did not ask them. Because the woman to see nje. Was that was not my reason for being there. Did they ever call you? No. Ni kumandi le bang. Alaji Martin, fana ne kumandi le bang. Man kumandi tele ka kumandi. He never called me. I was the one calling him. Ni ka call wati wati. And each time I call him, nga fayne ko aka fo nyala ko president be busy rin he used to tell me that the president was busy bari wo kono but this in, in, in while that was happening nin ta saltan ka ala dani each time i pray i ask god na pre nin president ñoo je ñoo ya na tara na kay robe je if at all my inability to meet the president if that would be my good na ye ñoo je na señor let me see him barini na kairo teje if my good will not come out of it in kanaj let me not meet him wo mu continuous prayer len kamenke that was a continuous prayer which i made yo bring bring alaji martin kon batata when i called alaji martin until i got tired na bulaji i left him alone na tu wala nyama and i left things like that but uh, these efforts to get baba jo released or to solve the problem was not only limited to your the efforts of yourself and the family uh, the libyan government did something correct so ete nyin katolu men keten anin dimbaya la katolu pour nyin be ici baba jobula no amanda wala libyan banko la nyaton ko fana e kout ki jele ah ay kout ki jele kay yes he did something about it because what was the time because there was once a time time men mohammed gaddafi na ta ja When Muhammad Gaddafi came here, eh, musundungo dobeje. There was one particular woman. Ayinkili sent me. Kala fta muso le la holo kono. That he wanted to have women inside the hall. Muso bente bulu mele anko kafu bembulu. I had women who were a club. Kafu jamal. Many clubs. Ira ofanye. When he when the, she said that to me. Akonye nse ma ko ino fana puri na inyoje. Is she said to me I would also assist you so that you could get to see with him see who Gaddafi Gaddafi Biraye fo nyam man la kula When he said this to me 
I did not believe, believe it. Not on Kaful, Musu Kaful mobilized. I came and mobilized my women groups. Up to 150 women. Up to 150 women. Okay, Samba Jerma Hall. Take them to the Jerma Hall. Jerma, Jerma, Jerma Hall. Buru Gaddafi la Benguje. For Gaddafi's meeting. Ringa woke. After I did that. Belunging. On the day of the meeting. Data hall on Yinkona. I went inside the hall. Musuningo may promise Walla. The woman that gave me that promise. Woman Nata hall on Yinkona. She was not inside the hall. The hall was full. Gaddafi start. Gaddafi started to speak. They closed the doors. At that time, the lady had gone to uh, the state house for a reception. July 22nd reception. It was uh, July 22nd eve. When I got inside the hall, Gaddafi start. Gaddafi began to speak. The protocol is His protocol, the one called Sana. A woman came down and was walking about until she stood close to one woman. And that woman was my friend. Almost three quarters of the women that were there, out of the 150, I was the one that brought them in. 150 women. I brought 150 women. Those are the ones I took there. When she stood close to that woman, she asked her, Are you a businesswoman? Or are you a wife of a minister or a minister? She said to her, No, I am a businesswoman. So that woman also asked her, But who are you? She said to her, I am Gaddafi's protocol. The woman who is my friend said to her, but he has a friend called Baba Job. Do you know him? When she mentioned Baba Job's name to Sana, Sana, Kirita. Sana jumped. She was happy. And she said, where is he? The woman said to her, but he is in prison. And she asked her, where is his wife? At that time, I was seated in the front. My friend came to where I was sitting. Just for one minute. And she said to me that I should follow her to her seat just for one minute. I was surprised. A president was speaking. It's not normal for me to get up and make movements inside the hall. But when I turned and I saw Sana there, I got up and went. Quickly, I bondi. Quickly, she brought out a, a paper. I knew your husband when I was 18 years old. She said to me, I knew your husband when I was 18 years old. We were in the same college. We were in the same college. I can you write your name and number. She said to me, write your name and number. I wrote my name and number. Can you get back to you? And she said, I will get back to you. I will not need Sika. She took the note. Gaddafi be diamola. Gaddafi was speaking. Tata I alandi wanyakot. She took it and put it right under where he was standing. Bira alandi Gaddafi nyakot. When he put it right under him there. Gaddafi a diamu stop a smiled. Gaddafi stopped speaking and smiled. Then another continue a diamola. And then he continued speaking. Bira meeting obi janyanta. When uh, the meeting ended and everybody dispersed, the following day, the following day, the lady called me. She said that I should get prepared because I was going to meet Gaddafi. But that I should go with a proof to show that I was the wife of Baba Job. Marriage certificate provide. I provided a marriage certificate and a photograph which I took with Baba Job during our marriage day. Then I, I appealed. And I asked her if I am coming, could I come along with my dead friend? And she said to me, no problem. So we went, myself and two, two of my kids and my dead friend. We went 
When we got there, where was Gaddafi lodged at the time? He was at Jack's Cham's compound by the highway. When we got there, Gaddafi came. Gaddafi came. We were discussing. I took out. Baba's photographs, which would prove that Baba was my husband. The photographs I had with him, I showed them to him. I also showed him a photograph he had with Baba. He, I showed him my marriage certificate. And then I told him about Baba's case. I told him to try and to find ways of speaking, talking to your jame so that Baba can get out of prison. When I said these things to him, he said to me, since Baba's problem started, I was following it up since from the onset. When he said this to me, I said to him, I heard that you sent people here to come here and pay the fine that was levied on Baba. But Yaya Jame refused to meet the delegation. He said to me, yes. He said to me, but no problem. Tonight, we are supposed to have a state banquet. I will discuss with him then. We will discuss Baba's issue. And then he also said to me, I said to him, how can, uh, he said to me, how can I be able to speak to Baba? I said to him, God willing, if I go, I will make arrangement to, arrangements to see how you could be able to speak to him. So I was there. I told him about the difficulties that the family faced. Financial constraints. The financial constraints that we had. I told him all. And he said that they see people who impersonate themselves as Baba's wives or Baba's people. So that was why they do not know how to assist. Since since then, but since then, every six months, every six months, they used to send in an allowance through the embassy member Dakar. Through the Dakar embassy, I used to leave this place and go to Dakar with Baba's brother or his sister and pick up this money until Gaddafi died. That was when that stopped. But that was how it happened. And that Hi. meeting with uh, with Gaddafi, do you have anything to show for it? So to, to show that this meeting occurred. Yes, we had a photograph. Uh, you have provided a copy. The copy is not very good. Do you have the original? original Yes, I have the original, but I was not uh, sure you would need it here, which is why I didn't bring it along. Uh, we would circulate the photocopy, and then uh, later you could make a better copy for us from this for, of the original. Yes, that's not a problem. Uh, proceed, please. So, banquet On the night of the banquet, when I went home, prison officer in contact. I established contact with my prison officer. What was his name? I told him. You will excuse me on that one. Could you write it down and send it to us? Excuse me on that. Proceed, please. So after I contacted that person, 
And I told the person to I well, that I wanted the person to take the telephone to Baba. Because left Because I wanted to speak to him. But I did not tell the person what I was going to discuss with Baba. So I was there. Baba in call now telephone. Baba called me on the telephone. Nata explain I kung Gaddafi mitle. I explained to him that I met Gaddafi. Ndumbe ni number ta alambadi la ala protocol la sana. And that I will take this number and give to his protocol who was sana. Ngani ninka fa sana lonne aku haya lonne. I asked him if he knew sana and he said yes he knows her. Amal lana. He was not very. He didn't believe me. Containing Gaddafi seater. That I sat with Gaddafi. I said, I sat with him. So, I said to him, so I'll give your number to Sana. I ended up giving the number to Sana. Sana called him. He spoke with Gaddafi. Then later on, then later on I spoke to him. He said, Behold, it is true that you actually met with Gaddafi. I said, Yes, that was what happened. So I said to him, So how do you feel now after speaking to Gaddafi? He said to me, I'm very relieved. I asked him, What did you discuss? He said, no, I will not tell you that. Okay, problem I said, okay, no problem. My insist. I did not insist. Beje. I was there. The following day, the after follow the banquet. After the banquet, the following day. Sana yang call. Sana called me. Abi kontandi. She was happy. Abi jelekan. She was laughing. Konye ko phone si tano ngatara jang hotel hotel. She asked if I could go and meet her in the, in the hotel. Because she was uh, in a hotel. Where? But I forgot the name. Where was the hotel? The hotel was on your way towards Bijilo. The hotel is in Bijilo itself. I forgot the name. Coconut resident? Exactly, Coconut resident. Coconut resident. I went there and met her. She narrated everything then to me. She said that Gaddafi spoke with Hechi, who was here Yajame. So they have come to an agreement. And that they have come to an agreement. That Yajame will release Baba. But he would release him on Libya's Independence Day. September 1st. September 1st. So we all celebrate. So we all celebrated. But I was not very happy. But I was not very happy. Because I knew that Yajame wasn't reliable. So we went home. No, it all said Libya. They went home back to Libya. Libya. When they returned to Libya, shortly. Shortly. Gaddafi a problem Not long after, Gaddafi also had a problem. Baba Bula. He did not release Baba. So, what Gaddafi was supposed to give him, he has given him. How do you how do you know that? Sana told me that they had an agreement, and he gave him a lot of money. Who gave who gave who a lot of money? Gaddafi kodi jamadi yaya jame. Gaddafi gave a lot of money to yaya jame. For what purpose? Lile jumaka. Ura se yamfa baba to give Baba clemency. But this is not the first time issue of money uh, came up for, to, in order for Baba to be helped from the authorities. Do you recall the request from the NIA officers? Saying, you follow it. Purume ya lo nko kodo si tama nyin kuoko no. Foye hakilo si bula le NIA do kulalu fanale kanindi romenge. Aha, ika apply kujabi. Yes, yes, apply kujabi. Biri ya baba mutano, apply kujabi nataka. When baba was arrested, apply kujabi came to him. Aka iku, I kudu million lefai, malong exactly how many millions. And said to him, he mentioned several millions, but I don't know exactly how many. Nim baba iku dila ya samba hechi. That if baba gave them that amount and they took it to hechi. He will uh, put an end to this case. But how they ended eventually, that is what I don't know. But Baba told me this. Because when he is going out to meet this individual, he used to, he used to go in the night. 
He used to tell me I'm going to meet Ablai Kujabi. And who was Ablai Kujabi at the time? Malam Ablai Kujabi to Otembo. Ablai Kujabi, I'm going to tell him NIA director to know. I think he was the NIA director. In the end, was Baba released even though after Gaddafi had given him money? Obey Kola, Gaddafi Kolo Diala, Obey Kola. Fain at Baba Bulaba. Even Nabula. They did not release him. And Gaddafi ended up in problems. Gaddafi found another Kolea Kolo Soto. Yes. What, what eventually happened to Baba? Kulen at a Kebabala. Karakilina Dunta Gaddafi in Babala Fatima. Gaddafi Fata Dorong. Karakilina Dunta Tema. Baba Fana in Atafa. There was only a month's gap between the death of Gaddafi and Baba. How did Baba die? Baba Fata Nyadi. Beji the Suok on a loon killing. We were there at home one day. A call sort of from one. A prison officer. I got a call from one prison officer. I don't know that officer's name because the officer did not tell me. And the officer said to me, Baba is sick, he's at the hospital, and that he should come immediately. I rushed to the hospital. I, when I arrived, I found this, but it was... Uh, uh, warm and very he was warm, shaking. and he was shaking. Not a towel on in I looked for a towel and I soaked it in water. temperature And I laid it on his body and I cooled down his temperature. Not a soak on a call. I called back home. I told them to prepare food for him. because no pastor. I told them to prepare food because he was someone that loved pasta. When they prepared the food for, for him and which they brought, that was a Saturday, I remember. The doctors were not at the hospital. Only the nurses were so there. He was lying down there. Uh, he, emergency. he was lying at the emergency wing. While waiting for the doctors, the food arrived. He ate. Then doctor Then the doctors came. Yeah, 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 yellow They took his blood. check. They went to check it up. After they checked his blood, malaria story. They said he has malaria. A dehydrator And he has uh, dehydrated too. So he not an medication all there. Then they prescribed some medication. So he have a bottle taken. So he was taking those medicines. But at what time? But at that time, we had a hunger strike level prison. There was a hunger strike at the prison. Imuka domorike. They don't eat. Ikatara walenya. They just stay like that. Yo sign. Now, bring Baba Beuje. When Baba was there like that, inata ya move. They came and moved him. Ya samba hariyala ward. They took him to hariyala ward. When he reached this Hariala ward, one day on the second day, one young man came and a young lady. They said they are going to repeat all the former tests that were carried on Baba. Were the hospital staff? Yes, they were hospital staff. They said they are going to repeat the tests that were carried out on Baba. He told them, after I took these tests, they said I have malaria and I'm taking the medicine given to me. Now, what kind of test are you people going to carry out? Well, in sister, Anika Diamunyameng, they were talking with authority. They insisted, and the way they were talking, they were talking with authority. Uh, Baba Konyeko Tida. Baba said to me, Tida, these people have been sent. Konyeko executive order. He said to me, it's an executive order. Mkaiko. And I said to him, but executive order, jahal word. But this uh, executive order is surprising. He said to me, leave them alone. He accepted for them to take another blood sample for testing. They brought in drips to put on him. But the liquid was yellowish. 
Mune miinti. Baba asked him, what is this? Kaya ko boro le miinti. They said to him, it's medicine. Ako yeko aike boro da mati de. He said to them, well, let it be medicine alone. Mbeje nga call sort of from prisons. I was there when I got a call from prisons. Prisoner beje. There was a particular prisoner. Kaya fome in Lamin Dabo. Called Lamin Dabo. Para fata le sain. He's late now. Ako nyeko. He said to me, tell Baba that. Can also a drip kai. Let him not allow them to put any drip Can on him. Pengu. Let them not inject him. Na if he accept, Baba. they will kill him. No for Baba. And I told Baba that. Ako nyeko sai. He said to me, now, me na doro. whatever they want, Yake. let them do it. Because, the because I will not run away. I am helpless. I, am helpless. I cannot do anything. He said, but well, God is good. Fine. I said, fine. Say, we were there. Uh, hospital staff nata. A hospital staff came. Who taka Baba move? And said that Baba supposed to be moved. Private block. To the private block. Room number ten. Room number ten. He said to them, leave them, leave me here. no, it's a security order. Uh, not a executive order. They said to him, no, it's an executive order. Save. You have used this term quite up frequently now, executive order. What do you understand it to mean? Yanyin kumo for senior Jamale, ka for executive order. Say it a la mirror, a koto mumuneti. Because it can executive order someone and ni afo e dorong, tambidula tela. Whenever they bring this executive order and they tell you, there is no way for you to pass through. Because they tell you that it's from the top. It's from the top from who? Yaya Jami. And now what are you going to do? There is no way to run to. There is no way to escape to. You must subdue. That was the reason why. So, He said to them, leave me here. I know your executive order for cutting. They said to him, no, it's an executive order. I not now move. Now he was moved. To private block. To private block. Room number 10. Room number 10. But we didn't tata. But when uh, we got there. See the waiting room on it. We sat at the waiting room. Because patient don't be Larry work on. We were waiting because there was a patient inside there. You bond the forcefully. They forcefully removed that patient outside. They said that person should get out when the person's time was not yet up. Hospital staff were from And that person is a hospital staff. And he paid money. He said he paid money. And who is Baba that will warrant them to take him out for Baba's sake? We were seated at the waiting room until he packed all his belongings. And then we went there. That day I was very surprised. But I did not want Baba to know. Because I was there to strengthen him. I was his only source of courage. I was his only source of courage. At that particular point in time. At that particular point in time. That was why I did not want him to know. That I was hot inside. Oh, whether well, I was not hot. I said to him, I was going to the uh, to the bathroom. bathroom. hospital management staff I went and called the one hospital staff whose surname is Sanyang, but I cannot recall the person's name. I said to the person Sanyang. I said I'm surprised. What's happening? And he, the person said to me, I'm also surprised equally. But what are we going to do? We must comply. Uh, uh, point of order. Uh, the witness kept saying Jahal. Uh, but uh, in that particular context, it might have meant worried. Is that the case? Jahal, yes. All right. Please proceed. So we were there like that. We were there like that. And he too said, the person too said that uh, he was worried. I said to the person, something is amiss. But at that time, before they would take Baba to room number 10, prison medic there was one prison medic called Jaju. And the one they called 
Jimbo. When I was uh, just from having prayers, I passed them by the kitchen door. They were talking in private. But what they were discussing, I don't know. But they did not see me. But when I went to Bara, Baba and found him at uh, Hariala, I told him. He said to me, they are up to something. But God is good. So I was there. Until the medic came to Baba, he came and he was uh, chatting with him. Baba asked him deliberately and asked him, where is Jimbo? He said, for the whole of today, I did not see, set my eyes on Jimbo. When he left, Baba said to me, you see, they are up to something. They are up to something. He said to me, God is good. After that, they moved him to room 10. We were in room 10. They never allowed me to spend the night there. We are always there up till 1 or 12. And then we will go home. Who told you you can't spend the night there? This is private block after all. private block a prison officer member Jim Kosong and Laji, the hospital staff will find you go in Muka Allah. The prison officers who were there never allowed us to spend a the night there, and the hospital staff also said that was not allowed. Proceed, please. Okay, gentlemen. Time BJ for Arjumalu. We are there until Friday. Friday around 12. How many days did you spend there? Until the lucky day. Thursday and Saturday. We went there on Thursday. Then Friday. Then Friday. Somanda around 12. In, in the morning, around 12. room not 10. I left room 10 on my way to the kitchen. I met with two gentlemen. But I do not know them. I thought they had come to visit Baba. I returned back. Officer member Bundatu kafai Ismaila Ismaila Koli. The officer at the door called Ismaila Koli. Went to where Baba was, I found him telling him that that Jack's people have come. He said to him, which of his people? He said, his junglers. He asked him, how do you know? He said to him, I know Noah in person. When I called him, Noah went down. When he went down, the other guy who was still I have up called there telephone. called him over the telephone and he too went down the stairs and they went. Which Noah was he referring to? He was a jungler, either Noah Baji or something like that. Your statement says Noah Baji. That is, that is it, Noah Baji. Noah Baji. Noah Baji. Baba said to them, well, let them do whatever they, they please, because I have no means, I have no powers. So It's was after that I come to see at the commission. The man that I met up with, one of them was Oya. I did not see Noah at the commission, but, but I saw Oya. I saw Oya. But it around was, 12 o'clock Friday. It was Oya who came there with Noah around 12 o'clock on that Friday. After they said that, Baba was getting better. What, what time in the day? Was it at night or was it in the afternoon? 12 noon. 12 noon. It was in the afternoon Proceed. when they came there. Hmm? Proceed. That Friday, we were there that Friday. We are a around evening time. A manning group or not? A manning group came. A, group, oh, group, a group of boys came. Idunta. They went inside. The green boys all uh, They said they were green boys. When they got inside, they greeted Baba and they talked with him. After they left, they came out and left. He said to me, Tida. He said to me, something is cooking. But please take heart and hold on to God.
If you should hear that I am dead, know that that is what God has for me. If you hear that I have a broken leg, but you've tried a lot for me. May Allah reward you for what you've done for me. He also called his brother, Ibrahim Ajub. He prayed for him and told him that you have tried a lot. May God reward all of you. But whatever you hear, just take it to heart. He said, he said that to me. Inna Allah ma sabiruna. Allah ni sabar lalem. Inna Allah ma sabiruna. In Allah Masabirun, that means Allah is always with people who bear things. After he said that to me, okay, hey, I said, Look, nothing is going to happen. But go to more inside me. But at that time, inside me, I was more worried than anything. I said to him, nothing will happen. He said to me, something will happen. He said to me, I, I feel something. If that feeling comes to me, something is always about to happen to me. I could just be positive. I said to him, just be positive. Only peace is what is going to happen. So I was there on Friday. That Friday, he ate to his food. He walked about. He ate his fruits. We were chatting until evening time. They brought his dinner. We were there until 12. One. We were preparing to go home. I picked up the bowl and I showed it to him. I said, your dinner is here. It's not necessary for you to heat it up. It's warm already. And he said to me, uh, said to me come, let me taste it. He took a, he took a spoon tasted it and said it's okay, Put, place it there for me. So we were about to leave. We went up to close to the door. Myself. His younger brother, Ibrahim Job. And his sister, I said to Job. He called, I didn't he called us back. He said, Tira, come and apply my medicines on me. Because what more? At that time, bring he once ate food in mile two. He had some rashes. He said, he used to tell me that, that is, this is poison because when I pack this food for some time, the color changed. So I rubbed this lotion on his body. I wish good night. I wished him good night. And we left. He said to me, but don't come early tomorrow. Tomorrow is a set settle. I said to him, okay. His younger brother gave money to the prison officers for them to buy mosquito, mosquito repellents. And we went home. We were home. Early morning on Saturday, one of his friends called Demo Arabojo, who lives in Brikama, called me and asked, how, did, uh, how is Baba doing? I said, praise be to God, now he's getting better. Nothing is wrong with him. He said to me, okay. But he had heard about he has heard about his death. But merely wanted to confirm if indeed we have heard that news. But when I said this to him, he hung up. His younger brother called me. The one in Jara called funding. And said to me, Tida, Baba is dead. I said to him, funding. 
This is just a rumor. Because all the time. Because this is what they do all the time. Baba Mamfa. Baba is not dead. Mankar. Nothing is wrong with him. Okay. He said to me, okay. Beje. We were there. He called me again. Okay. And said to me, Tida. The whole compound is full with people. People are crying. They are saying that Baba is dead. I got angry with him. I said to him, chase away everybody. They are not speaking the truth. Baba is dead. He said to me, Baba is dead, and I got this from a reliable source. I told him, your source is not telling you the truth. You rang up. But in stone no more start kasilang. But I began to fear in my mind. Not a modo call. I called somebody. Baba from Uteri Lamoti. One of Baba's friends. Kafai Bubaba. Called Bubaba. They were staying in Banjul. He's staying in Banjul. Kaita room ten. I told him to go to room ten. I had you before Baba began. And see if Baba is still there. You have to room ten. When he got to room ten, I had to say Baba had a dead body bondage. They had already removed Baba's dead body. The bunda town. They locked the door. Woman and call back. He didn't call me back. I phone you come and To tell me what happened. Ala brother, Baba la brother na tana suoko. Baba's brother came to the house. He came and said to me, yes, they said that Baba is dead. Let's go to He came and said to me, yes, they said that Baba is dead. Let's go to Banjul. Manso. I refused. We quarreled along the way to Banjul. I said to him, you are the ones that do this. You are the very people who are spreading the rumor that Baba is dead. In fact, who told you that Baba was dead? We quarreled on our way to Banjul. When we got close to the door, the Mushwari door, I saw one of Baba's tight friends called Kuru Konjira. He was sitting by the bank and stretched his legs. On the ground. He was sitting on the ground and he stretched his legs. He was shouting up to the point of holding his head. Then Baba's sister, who was accompanying me, told me, Tida, look at Kuru. He's crying. That proves that Baba is already dead. Okay, Baba, Mamfa. I said, no, Baba is not dead. Kuru knows what he is crying for. I said to her, let's go to room 10. We went all the way to the back door which was in front of the uh, uh, children's hospital. That place was locked. They didn't allow me to pass by that door. I went around again. That main gate. We went to the main gate. We went into the hospital. I met up with his nephew. I said to him, Bajabi, where is Baba? He didn't tell me anything clear. He was just saying, well, auntie, auntie, but he was unable to tell me anything. That's the time I raised up my head, my, my blanket, my flask, my basins. They put all together and tied it plus my basket. They went and placed it in the middle of the hospital. When I saw that, I said, oh, it is true. Baba is dead. I said, but now he will get peace. I was unable to cry at that instant. I cannot even produce one piece of saliva, a bit of saliva in my mouth. I cannot shed tears. The whole wall was black for me at that moment. I sat down to take some rest. People tried, but they were unable to move me. I cannot remain sitting down. I got up. 
ko dead body le i asked them where is the dead body ko abe mochuari to they said it's in the mochuari taata mochuari to i went to the mochuari biri bunda ele when they opened the door na do ma tara ci I found his brother there. Be kumbo la faka murumuru. He was crying going round inside the room. Baba furo belari. Baba's dead body was lying. Kango be jenkeri. His neck was torn. Adaka ji nete munko bande. There was some sort of a yellow uh, liquid which was coming out of his mouth. Akabwa anu ofanan. And it was coming out of his nose also. Ndua tai. I prayed for him. Tambeje. Uh, I remained there. Nata fint. Then I went out. Is that a photograph? Yes. Um, I have yes. the original. C please provide. Thank you. Could you pass it to the commissioners? Proceed, please. Ndua tae. I prayed for him. Ndua tae. Mbeji enko pu dead body ni muntu male iba adila mola. I inquired as to when the dead body was going to be handed over to us. I konte dead body ni soto la for ten elu. They said I would not have access to the dead body until Monday. Nseika suwokon. We went home. Dura fat. This was full up. Dead house, yeah. That day when we were, we were at the dead house, Independence Drive fat. the whole of Independence Drive was full with people. Marina Parade fat amola. Marina Parade too was filled up with people. Many people were there. You don't even know where they were coming from. We dispersed, went home. The house too was full up. We were at the house until on Monday. Monday, bring ten long sit and tata lop tano. On Monday, we went to the hospital. Bring for the When we got there, in atana boy fure onyindi mola. They handed over the dead body to us. Who was an was a post mortem conducted? For in atana post mortem fure onyindi la banka long mune sababu dala saya. Post mortem manke. There was no post mortem. The reason why we did not access, allow them to do post-mortem, we don't have even the time. We don't know where to voice that out. But we were also suspicious that Baba was killed. And those that killed him are the same people who are supposed to carry out the post-mortem. So why would we accept them to carry out a post-mortem? Who are you referring to? I told Sobita Mella, what time? The people that we suspected at the time. Hospital staff your role play. The hospital staff played a role there. A prison your role play. Prison play played a role. And Yaya Jamela Jungler's role. And if a post-mortem was to be done, transactional baby, a hospital staff will let him and in prison police all. Transaction is between the hospital staff and the prison. As Manigas would say, Jalo sing of a four on can. So, what are you looking at? Manson post mortem because Nafata. Yeah, could you repeat that Mandinka proverb? Ninja losing of a four anchor. Is that one too high for my uh, for yes? Uh, uh, <laughs> perhaps, perhaps he could. Perhaps maybe she, Dr. Cesar can help. Yes. <laughs> huh? Hmm? Yes. Hmm. Mike. Okay. Okay. We didn't get to hear that. Uh, Tida, I am sure you can tell us what that means in Wolof or in English. You can tell us what that means in Wolof. In Wolof, yes. Is Lima mean like Moene? Nde imbelami. It's just in in short, Moi, Reila, Tagela, Baparidegla. In short, it means yes. someone who... Jalela. Jalela, wa. 
Okay. In short, it means someone that kills you, pays uh, your, makes your, uh, pays your condolences, and also announces your death. Mm -hmm. That was the reason why we did not accept the post-mortem to be carried out. So they gave us the dead body. Data Jara. We went to Jara. I will ex before I explain that part. Whatever one uh, does, one's deeds. It's a, a right to sh showcase it. The person of Asombi Bojang. Yeah, Jamie's mother. When Baba was admitted at, at the hospital, she used to send people to visit him. She used to give me money and tell me to help myself with it. When Ramadan uh, comes around, she sends sugar and uh, tops it up with money. When the Tabaski comes, she used to buy a sheep and also tops it with money. When Baba's mother passed away, all the vehicles that went to Jara for the burial, she was the one that gave me the money to pay for them. She used to call me up till her bedroom. And she used to tell me if I had the power, Baba would not be in prison. So I have to show do, that a little bit. Do, do you know whether she had uh, interceded with her son to, to have Baba released? For Yala Noko, for another man, you know, for Kachala Bank, Kachakura, Buru, Yaja, Baba, Yabula. Kachata, Kula, Dima, Kaikuna, Banko, Tamandi, Yala Karati. They discussed about the issue, but her son told her that the way that I manage my country is none of your problems. Started for Akukuru, Nimujeli, Baba, and Takajeli, Jopurate, or Joy, Baba, Bula. It went to an estate where she asked, in fact, how much money is it? that needs to be paid for Baba to be released. She was in ready for that. As a Kurudina Afonye Taita Duany no la Funyin din full old tema ala se kayan di keji. She would uh, give me money and tell me go and seek for prayer so that these two sons of mine, their God will bring peace between them. Aka wokele sinya jama. She did that on several occasions. I'm praying for her. So when they gave us the dead body, Data Jara. we went to Jara. There were many people. Before we got to uh, Jara, even at the dead house, there were many plain clothes people there. Identify. People identified them. They told me, I saw some amongst them. I believe that what they came there for, they wanted to gauge the public reaction. That's what, that was what they came for. And they followed us all the way to Jara. We went up to Jara. The burial took place. Prayers were held. And people dispersed. We went, returned back home. Uh, how did the uh, death of Baba impact your family? Baba la saya, ayah Allah dimbayal, ayah aku leh, ayah mungkin leh asyik kuliah sahui, mah, ayah baten dengar dulu. Baba la saya, aku leh aku lingkung be ubi fola jam, nanti janjian. If I would want to say all the difficulties that the family encountered as a result of Baba's death, you probably will not leave this place. You can summarize it. Briefly. That is what I will do. I will summarize it. Because the family uh, suffered when Baba passed away. Frustrated. We are frustrated. Stigmatized. We were stigmatized. Marginalized. We were marginalized. That is from for extent going America, society from being rejected. It got to a stage where we thought that we were being rejected by society. They evicted us from our houses. 
And wherever we went to look for a house, when they know that we are Baba Joe's family, even if we had a prayer agreement and they were prepared to give us a build a house, they used to stop it. Why do you think that was the case? Because if I don't because they were trying to save their own heads. Because because if you are gets to know any business to do with Baba's family that they had any business to do with Baba's family in trouble. They would be in trouble. Now, are you suggesting that the problems happen between Yaya Jame and Baba? Munda ko left in mirror dila ko ko yal ka soto soto no ko soto dal ka dum Baba job ning Yaya Jamma temolo. Baba served his time in prison. Baba yala wato ki kasoro a bang. He was not released. Mabula Ah. Yes, allegedly they killed him. And to me, or men for a co, yeah, father. That was not enough for your jammy. That's what you're telling us. Oh, man, can you? Yeah, I'm a little for more for more. Still, I'm honey, can be a la dimba for a bowl and no more. Well, I'm a man, can you? Yes, it wasn't enough because that's the thing I understand. Co, because we got to understand that. I love to let a la dimba is a daddy that he wants the family to turn into beggars. And uh, by uh, we had only a, a small margin before we got to that uh, level. Because the landlord may alone Baba family. The landlord who was Baba's family, we went to look for a house. We had an agreement with him. I was ready, we had an agreement, I was ready to transfer, I took a truck with all of my luggage. When he knew that this was your Baba Job's family, he, he said to me, oh, I made a mistake, someone had taken this place already. Because he was scared of Yaya Jame. That night I had to look for a lodge and pay their $5,000 for a single night. For a single night, my luggage, all of them were scattered around outside. I spent the night there with the kids. You know, no one can sleep in that situation. I just uh, rested my head and wait for the following morning so that we could continue looking for a house. I looked for a house until I eventually got one at Senegambia. I was there also. Difficulties. The water system there wasn't good. Throughout. We never had water throughout. Taxi le Luas. I used to hire a baggage truck and look for many water, water gallons. I go to Sanchava and fetch water. The drivers and the little boys will fetch water all the way to Sanchava. When they come, they will place it. And when that water gets finished, I'll hire another uh, vehicle and uh, go for more. I knew I couldn't continue like that in that situation. I looked for another place Kololi. in Kololi, and I transferred there. I was there, but I was in this place, and still yet, plain clothes officers were following me. They come to ask about me at the house. When they come, they used to find my husband's sister. When they ask her, she will tell them Tida is not here, but I was usually inside. But at that time, my, one of my, my son, Suleiman Job, at the time he was nine years, Plain clothes officer, more Three plain clothes officers. 
You need a driver. And their driver. He not a soak on a coin at a car arrest. Came to the house and they said they, were, they, they came to arrest him. Go al not any arrest. I said you've come to arrest this guy. Al man not any arrest. You've not come to arrest this boy. Al not until arrest. You've come to arrest me. Because the albula la ni yeta. Because I will not allow you to go with this boy. Teman taraji. When I am not there. Ni tat. When they. Ni tat the police headquarters. I went with them to the police headquarters. Bring for taraji. When we got there. Ya 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 ni ninka. They asked him, has, did your father buy any house for you? A nine-year-old boy arrested and taken to the hospital, hmm. to, the, uh, to, the, to the police, and, and, and interrogated about properties his father has in, on his name. Hmm. 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 Yo muta ya samba ka samba police ka nyinin ka kuwa la men sujita fama la sura fengol la mem kordati fo ay korda sura ya to ke damen ha yes ya nyinin ka wala they asked him about that biri ya nyinin ka when they asked him o ka fo in dama londe he used to tell them i don't know alim fama nyinin ka ask my father not a statement or safe they wrote a statement na read how read it how long did you stay in the police I was in jail I was in jail for 12 till We were there at 12 noon. For 7 o'clock, Buraro. Until 7 p.m. We were there. No statement, no sign. I signed the statement. Say it. And went home. But what? But after that, anyone that came and knocked on my door, the boy used to tell me, Mommy, wait for me. And open the door. But when I do be palantir or a jumale, let me peep over the window and see who it is. Janimbe Bundayel. Before I, go, I would open the, the door. Nay ambulance or my. If he hears an ambulance, he used to run like he's crazy. I used to ask him, What are you running? He said, Yeah, Jame is coming. I said, This is not it. When someone is sick and you wanted to go to the hospital in Banjul, they used to tell you, you should tell you, Don't go there. He used to tell you, Don't go there. To the extent of begging you, he will tell you, If you go there, you will die. Anyone that went there, they used to die. Don't go there. That was the state the young man was in. And we were in that situation. They went after Baba's brothers. They take them to the NIA. They would question them about Baba's uh, wealth. Their things that uh, are with them, their vehicles. They seized them from them. They were after them all the time. His brothers, especially one of his brothers called Ibrahim Job. They troubled that boy, that man a lot. They went to his family compound. His apartment. They put a padlock on it. Family And that is a family compound. His uh, mother's cows. Everybody knows who his grandfather was. Jamanti Fofana. Jamanti Fofana. Jamanti Fofana. I need so to back. He had a lot of cattle. Baba Baba I need so herit a farmer layer. His grandmother inherited those uh, cattle from Chad, his father. I, father. father. Wala kore oto. They went to uh, that herd. Yala need so beta. They took all of the cattle. Itata. And went away. Itata. They went to the compound which we, where we lived before. There was a pool. They dug the whole pool. They said that uh, guns were hidden there. They didn't find any guns. They went to Karantaba. They are farmland. They burnt it all. They said because guns were being hidden there. They didn't find any guns. We were worried. We did not know what to do. The kids were supposed to go to school. Those that used to assist by uh, little, uh, when they are helping you, they will tell you we are assisting you, but do not make a mistake. 
for your agent to know about this thing. So I bring Baba Fatah, don't I? So when Baba died after that, all of that assistant assistance was cut off. So I Baba Fatah. Baba is dead. Those that we are here, their assistants, Gaddafi was cut off. Gaddafi died. So we were in that state. They were moved from house to house. I would be moving from house to house. If I, if I spent one year here, I would live and go to another place. My household properties All my household properties were destroyed. Because of the movement. Because of the movement. So I was in that situation. I was in that state in Kololi. The area of Kololi where I was. That's where the junglers were also staying. They used to pass through my compound. I got to know that they were after Baba's property, properties and his compounds. And they were suspicious that I had the documents. That was why, but uh, most times they will disguise themselves and uh, come to my area. I devised various means and uh, I left this place. But before I left, the documents and his briefcase, I packed all of them. I put them in a vehicle in the night. I got into the vehicle with uh, one child of my cousins. I went and collected those documents where I hid them from. But when I collected them and I was heading home, I found many checkpoints along the way. I had luggage in the vehicle. I was worried and fearful. If I am caught, I lay on the vehicle. I took my headscarf and I covered myself. I told the driver to put on double signal. I said to him, when we get there and they ask you, tell them that you have a patient that you were rushing to the hospital. That was what we did. When we got to the checkpoint, they stopped us. There were many soldiers there. The whole, the whole vehicle was full with documents, the briefcase. But through the help of God, they did not open the vehicle. When we passed, that, uh, the following morning, I put all the, 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 the materials in two suitcases, big suitcases, and I gave it to someone to cross them over to Bara. He took them and hid them all the way to Karang. After he hid them in Karang, the following day, the following day I held the hands of two of my kids. I only had have a shack on me. I took a vehicle. Heading to Senegal. I didn't announce it to anyone. But the vehicle that I took, when I got to the border, I did not alight. I sat inside the vehicle. There were people who were there who showed their ID cards. I passed like that. And when I got to Karang, I picked up all of my documents. Then I, I took my vehicle to go to Senegal. Before I got into Senegal proper, Baba had an agreement with Trust Bank. His property that was in Jarasoma was what he rented to Trust Bank. But when he rented it out, they made payments in two installments. The first installment was paid. Before it was time for the payment of the second installment, Baba had a problem. 
ignore_time_segment_in_scoring I write to extend sincere and heartfelt congratulations to you, Mr. President, for your resounding triumph in the recently concluded presidential elections. Once again, thanks to your able leadership, our nation has proved our skeptics and detractors wrong by conducting a free, fair, and transparent elections, which has been certified as such by, local, by both local and international observers, notably the African Union and Commonwealth. The magnitude of your landslide victory, which is unprecedented in the recent political history of our nation, even Baba Gale cannot lie such, in such glowing terms. Hmm? <laughs> it is so beautiful. I only wish it was true. ignore_time_segment_in_scoring After I wrote it, I took it, I registered it. I registered it. Uh, near, uh, near register, if, so you, if you register a letter in the morning, then in 12 o'clock, I can receive it. Before 12, they say he usually receives it. I received it. He received it, but he did not respond to me. So after Observing all of these things, with all the prayers I used to make that if my peace would come through my meeting with him, may God make it happen. I came to the conclusion that, that my lack of not being able to see him, perhaps my peace is not with the, uh, there. I was, I was also fearful about my life. I ended up leaving the country. I went to Senegal. When I got to Senegal, it wasn't easy. A country where you were not born in, you just went there just like that. Tata friend family friends. I went to a family friend. 
Sénégal, il y a des choses qui sont Il y a des places au Sénégal qui sont très crowded. Oui, il y a une petite maison. Si vous avez une petite maison, vous avez une petite maison. Si vous avez une petite maison, vous avez une petite maison. Si vous avez une petite maison, vous avez une petite maison. Vous avez une petite maison. Vous avez une petite That was when one day. Nina suitcase, old bagas, old nindim full. With my suitcase, my other luggages, and my two kids. We didn't talk about going there for the official. When I went there, I thought that place would be better. I thought it was too far away. I didn't want to go there. I found that that place was worse than where I left off from. You went with two kids. Nindim full, only later on. And nindim full, old tata. Yes. Suleiman Job and Ibrahim Job. Suleiman Job and Ibrahim Job. Baba had thirteen children, correct? Yes. Baba didn't have any siblings, sir. Ah. Yes. Where, where were the other children? Ding kote ngole. Ding kote ngole janne. The other children are here. Ding sabab e angal chair. Three are in England. Omar be jang. The others are here. Al musu sabab ay wole suton. You know he had three wives. And you melt a lot. Those that he separated with. Yo musu do be jika fae ma bintu fofana. There was one other woman called ma bintu fofana. Na e dilu le suton. He had five kids with that woman. Three daughters and one son. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, uh, si summarize that because of the si time. Si Saba. Three children. Maria Majane. Maria Majane. Din Saba. Three children. Anintay Din Fula. And myself, two children. Yo, Ding old baby Janne, baby Baluri. So Masha. all the children are here, all are alive. Mm. Praise be to God. So you were in Senegal in which capacity? Senegal itu ramu Senegal itu ramu je al halanya di lakon. Senegal berita apa je? Mana kata? When I go to Senegal, I went to. Mana kata UNHCR? I went to the UNHCR. Buka refugee status ni. To look for a refugee status. Mereka tak ni nak kono. I was going to and fro. Mana kata proses ni na? I went through the process. Not an refugee status in Soto. And then I acquired a refugee status. Not an presidential degree for an Indian. Then they gave me a presidential degree. So I was there with my kids. Ibitaka school. They were going to school. Friends, all family and a few of my friends. The family and a few of my friends. Well, let them Maroka. Through their assistance. Ding all ibitaka school. My kids were able to go to school. Ibeje ibitaka ibitaka. They were there going on. For what is young? Until after a long while. Ya long. Allah dorang wole katula adi la mola muka pasi. We know it is God who continually gives someone and He never tires. But had a man doing a meter, no one can pass it. But as for human beings, no matter how long it takes, it gets to a time when they become tired. Things changed. You know, all the school couldn't do that. The children's school was interrupted. We now to see when you are. And so they just sat down like that. Meter, you need to move to school. It took a long time before they were able to return back to school. Now to now, kata kaka kata. I tried and tried. Na keba ma wey scholarship soto. My Older uh, kid got, got a scholarship, Ibrahim. Suleiman. Suleiman. Scholarship, so he got a scholarship. He got a scholarship. He continued with his schooling. Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Woman scholarship means so Did not get a scholarship. So what are Dara? So he went to the Dara. He studied the, the Quran, the whole of it. When he completed studying the Quran. Then I got a chance to return him back to school. So that is the way things were. But, but what I used to do at that time in terms of feeding, before I left here, I used to sew clothes. When I retired, resigned from work on marriage grounds, I, I used to sew as so, business. So my individual customers, clients who are outside, ordering care. They used to make orders to me. When they made an order, I would show their clothes for them, send it to them, and then they would send me my payment. I was in that uh, business until later I opened up a restaurant. I used to work. And that is how I used to sustain myself. But I was there also. Not a chance to put a UNHCR not in the case refer. Then the UNHCR referred my case. Through 
Fenko, eh, not a not a Fenko store. Asylum. Not a uh, asylum music. Then I sought for asylum. Yeah, acceptance sorto. I got an acceptance. America. In America. That through all the procedures. I went through all of the procedures. But it's still case in the pending. But still the case is pending. The month today. Nothing was left. For medical examination. Except the medical examination. In cultural orientation. And cultural orientation. Those were the pending but issues. Muta. But I don't know what kept it hanging. Sign. Up till now. And that was almost at the same time with when Yajame was getting out of power. When Yajame was out of the place, I returned home. Because I knew that no matter how long a, stump, a tree stump stays inside the water, it never turns into a crocodile. I returned home. I came home with happiness. But when I came, but not when I come home, I will get justice. But I came, I got into trouble again. I lost faith. This new government that I trusted so much on. I seen, see, saw no assistance there which can uh, make me happy. And so I started from scratch. That is what we were in until this state, this time that we are in. Thank you very much. Expl explosive um, uh, allegations at TRRC. Murder, Faro, cruelty, greed, and betrayal, bribery, and list goes on. Extraordinary. I'll just um, uh, focus a little bit on the last one. The Director General of the Prisons is a constitutional appointee on the section 185, uh, paragraph 1. To have a constitutional appointee receiving bribes, soliciting bribes, uh, 10,000 dollars, television and uh, amplifiers, you name it. All that um, um, just to treat um, a, pr a prisoner uh, um, fairly? Humanely? You have um, uh, uh, officers receiving lucrative um, uh, bribes, including uh, DVDs of Nigerian um, uh, films. For them to enjoy themselves in the uh, prison area. I almost um, thought that uh, the um, five-star hotel is really five, a mile to his five-star hotel for officers. I'm sorry you had to enjoy so much. Commissioners, if you have any questions, um, please. Commissioner, Commissioner Kai, you have the floor. Commissioner Kai, you have the floor. Thank you, Chairman. Um, I have two questions I want to ask. Um, the first is about, about your, um, your family. You mentioned that uh, one of your children was arrested and questioned. He also told the commission that, uh, I think if I got you right, Baba had, um, has 13 children. 
ding tang anin saba wala babulu do you know if they face similar harassment from the jammer regime wol dingol fanan nyin kono na boda wodo la fa yalla no fa ina tana kole ya kol sotole je ya jammer la maralo wi ci nyin kono ba ay kole ya kol sotole biri because it will fanan be la suwal le kono itate evict yes they had the difficulties because they too were in their houses and they went there and evicted them and stigmatization of an eye affect le and they were also affected by the stigmatization wow bi ko baba job di ngol do since when it is said that they are baba job's children stigma ni nata je the stigma comes through that it frustrates they were frustrated when they were when they were evicted from their houses because they mantar last day without them because they had nowhere else to go to what happened thank you if i also got you right you mentioned that some of the properties of your late husband were seized by jamme ninga rangay moy kuke ila diamo ni ko ya fo ko jango ike ma mem banda ala soro fengo dole beje ya jamme la mara lo ko ni ye bulole kan yes that is true would you be able to tell this commission if your husband had any links to the daily observer isa fo no ni commission e ike ma mem banda daily observer fo ay bulo soda ko a ko no la ba daily observer do good la hi bulo soto jere yes he had a hand in it Thank you. Baraka. Oh, thank you. There are no further questions from the commissioners. Inga tara mo manyi ni karo soro commissioner la karola. Mr. Ma Tira Baba Job if you have any concluding remarks please proceed to make them now. Silence do ni atra ko ma soro be rafle kela ko mo da soro men na isi tantan yafo. Time for ten to row, correct? Now, except to thank. Uh, it's been a mixed feeling. Nin keta nye jisu jakasi baldi. To sit before this honourable commission. Kasi nin commission wanya ati lingola. Who made it possible for men, us? Men ye kato kol bega kaje ko. For us, the victims and non-victims. Purun tolme kole ya kol soro men uman kole ya kol soro. To voice out our pain. Purunga na kole ya nyinga finti ni jamaa ya mui. Frustration. Na 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 ya hakili ya kaso. And tell our story. Purunga na 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 tariko sara. At least for the first time in 22 years. Si nyia follow sangu mwan nimfulo kola. To the Gambian people. Gambia nolo. And the world at large. And in dunia bi. I therefore seize this opportunity. Wado bengi harje watala. To salute you, Purukali Bismillah, Mr. Chairman, Ms. Kiamano, Deputy Chairman, Anna Nolanko, Lead Council, Lead Council, Deputy Lead Council, Anna Nolanko, the Commissioners, and the Commissioner Mr. Bejang, and the entire TRRC team, and in TRRC the Kafu Molbe. I must specifically, eh, you, 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 Thank the research and investigating team. Menu ka kisi kisi ro kambi ten tulambi jaila. For their incredible patience. Ila sabaro kang. I am obliged. Ninketa njia suluri. To outline the frustrations. Puru kana hai jai hakili jaka so fintindi. Pain and trauma. Koleal ninga ke ni kuyalo. We the we the women. Ntolo musolo. Go through. Ntata menketa na. When our husbands are in prison. Jambo mwenye nchini manyo lebe kasoro. Council. Council. I represent. Ntelebe. I represent or I symbolize. Ngai, ngai tani roege. All women. Musolbe. Whose husbands. Menu kiemalu. Have been in custody. Tarta Morocco no. Particularly. Suru. Under the former regime of Yaya Jami. Yaya Jami la marolo wicho nyingono. I suffer a lot. Ndefang kundi ngombara dabake. Since the imprisonment of my late husband. Tumala mene yenko ma kinge ma alama ne man kafra kela mbanda kabri ya mura. Up to date. For bitilo. I have been victimized. Yenke ingeta mo deme kule ya soro. Stigmatized. And ingeta mo deme fanangi men kada mo i kamen chodi. And virtually rejected by society. And the Jamaa fanang nintara dola 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 fanang mol kang nyamfandi fanale. Paying the price of a crime. Kajulo jo kura me alanko barakuola kete menketa. 
I have never committed. Plunge me in a serious psychological disorder. So much so that I lose confidence in myself. Which lowered down my self-esteem Society and the general public concentrate more on the man in the prison than the woman outside. This is a misconception. We should look into critically. It's not the least easy. Taking care of the children. My, my errands. And that of my husband. Moving from point A to point B. Trying to secure funds for the sustenance of the family. At the same time, consoling the man in the prisons and the children at home. After seven years, six months of waiting, in vain, I nearly lose my womanhood. Excuse me for the language. Because I seldom have the feeling that I am a woman. In essence, my sense of humor faded gradually due to the series of stress upon stress when I finished the four months, ten days morning, period of my late husband, some men approached me for marriage. But will tell me, point blank, that they are afraid of Yaya Jami. Even my present husband went through a lot of threats. But he vowed that nothing will stop him from marrying me. Therefore, I salute his bravery and steadfastness. Cancel. Council. I must let you know that Yaya Jami and the, and the present government of Adamabaro have succeeded in re-traumatizing the family of the late Baba Joe by forcefully confiscating our properties without compensation or empathy for, the, for us. Adverse findings has been levied against us without thorough investigation on how these properties got into Yajami's hands. He took them without any court order even if there was any, it is a bogus one. The judge was a mercenary judge, purposely assigned to rule in his favor. Yajami himself was the judge, jury, and the judiciary. He brought in justice Eme Paul to convict Baba and eventually kill him. 
This is evident in the shooting of lawyer Usman Silla. Nimata na kesede ya rondo wala kata atababa ala lawyer nyimemu lawyer Usman Silla de bri ya bung. One of his defense lawyers. Atamu lawyer de miyalangu atalebe lori nnum baba ajobye. And uh, the testimony of Omar Jallo. Ani Omar Jallo fana na sede ya ndiroka. And several other junglers at the TRRC. Ani jungula jamal miyalangu kwa yisita in si TRRC jaye sede ya ndrodi. The former president was very uncomfortable. President Omembe Nunjang amantra nung ajiso amantra lari nung With the fact that Baba Job knows a lot Kato nyinkama lako Baba Job ayo kuja male long About him Atela kuwa, atela kuwa, atela kuwa, atela kuwa This made him hush these treacherous and cowardly acts of killing him Nyine nara na nyimbaro bula asondo me kono puruka na kaka puruka Baba Afa So as to hide the facts Isa aje nyinkama lako tonyabe mabola le an appeal was filed by lawyer Jobate. And we not an appeal okay, lawyer Jobate not an appeal on the kiti mumu kiti mumu. While the paperwork was in progress. Tembo me na kaito li beto poto kampur appeal on ying. And the proofreading was about to take place. And um, tuwe tuwanya me menti, wato fana wato binasi la puruka wafana mfintindi. The file suddenly disappears. File on ying not an appeal. From records. Eh, record on kono, saferoldo. If all other things remain constant. Ninga za kuul biyo tuta lori ng laring anyama lenu. It is the due responsibility of the court to, in, to investigate and come out with an answer or solution, but they never did. The situation remains like that, up to date. Luckily for us, we are in possession of the notice of appeal. After a year or two, I was asked to report to the police headquarters in Banjul, where I met Baba Job, Amadou Samba, Amadou Samba and Pa Bojang, Bojang in Jesus' office. Jesus la office oro. There I was informed that these two men were sent by the former president Yaya Jami, president Yaya Jami who ordered us to transfer all properties in the name of Baba Job to Kanilai Family Farm in exchange of his freedom. We were reluctant initially but eventually obey. Because there was no choice. We were under pressure. The following day, a sealed blank title deed were brought to us to sign the deed of transfer. The family farm it is ridiculous and heartbreaking that the Jani Commission, Yaya Jame, Jame, and the present government have portrayed that Baba could not even afford to have a compound throughout his entire life. The government of Adam Abaro have no regard or empathy for Baba Job's family. Baba Job la family. We move around all over looking for place for shelter even to get a rented property is a big problem. Before Yaya Jame's removal as soon as the landlords know we are Baba Job's family. They quickly disassociate themselves from us. There the stigmatization comes in. After the removal of Yaya Jami, Yaya Jami Bondi Sembolo, landlords speculate. 
whether we will be able to pay for the rent or not. Sometimes we feel as if we are in a foreign land. But in the actual sense, it's our motherland and our own people inflicting so much pain on us. Our properties are being sold and demolished. Even when the matter is in the courts. This prompted our lawyer, Antuman Gay, to write to the trustee requesting the numbers of compounds sold to whom they were sold, the amount of money involved, and their serial numbers. This was done three weeks ago and still waiting for the reply. All vehicles and matrimonial compounds have been confiscated. And those that belong to his brothers and some family members. We are therefore appealing to the borough government for the return of properties to Baba's children so as to at least enjoy shelter and a roof over their head from the inheritance of their late father, Baba Kajali Job. Thank you very much. Allah uh, Baraka Mr. Chair, uh, thank you very much, uh, um, uh, Madam Tida Baba Job. Observation. Yes, no, Mr. Chair, I just uh, needed to put in some few documents. Uh, before we end the hearing. Please go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chair, the uh, letter of clemency that was written by Ajafatu Fofana, uh, dated 25th October 2010, to be exhibit 135A, uh, and uh, the response uh, by Iaya Jame uh, should be uh, 135B and uh, okay it should be 135 uh, uh, D yes 135C yes okay. um, yes there are two actually two letters of clemency there is another one dated uh, 1st December 2020. That should be 135B. And the response of Yaya Jame should be 135C. And then the picture uh, with uh, Gaddafi, uh, who should be 135D. And uh, the picture. Uh, with uh, uh, the dead body of Baba Job should be 135E. And uh, the, the, the letter, uh, open letter to Yaya Jame should be 135F and the death yes, certificate. Uh, the council, for, just before you leave that one, mm -hmm. uh, there was no date on that one. Uh, yes, What's there's, the date? No, there's no Can date. Can we get it, it from the witness at some point? Yes. Uh, do you recall the exact date yeah, we look you, for it. you we wrote we... this letter? To, 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 uh, the open letter? The open letter. Yes, yes. Yes,
Okay, it's an undated open letter to, to Yaya Jame. But sir, she, would, she would get the receipt of the registered mail and she would provide the date to the commission later. Splendid. Splendid. Okay. And then the last but not the least document is a 135G and that is the death certificate. Uh, with your permission, Mr. Chair. Request granted, Council. Thank you. Again, thank you very much indeed, yes, yes. Madam Tida uh, Babel Job for coming to testify before the Commission. Yamanuka Barkabaka, Madam Tida Baba Job, Ila Songala Purkana, Ila Seri and Nirodi, Commission on Yatin. We share your pain and hope that uh, things would improve for both you and uh, the Job family. Real me taki in Berea Tala and Bumbejigir in Nafanonco, eh, Yementaki and Avekele, Cairo, Nyaro Sinning. Thank you very much, my one. We will uh, end up. Sorry, you wanted something that day? Sorry? No, I just, just needed your permission to return the original photograph. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, we will uh, resume our proceedings uh, tomorrow morning at uh, 10 o'clock. Thank you all very much. Meeting is adjourned.